My hair, it don't move. My hair, it don't move. It don't move. My hair, it don't move. You hear what I'm telling you? My hair, it don't move. My hair, my hair, my hair, it don't move. My hair, my hair, my hair, it don't move. Yo, 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 bad idea. Yo, yo, hey, yo, yo, step well. Yo, 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 bad, bad, bad idea. My hair, it don't move. My hair, it don't move. It don't move. My hair, it don't move. You don't get me. My hair, it don't move. Gorilla glue. Bad, bad, bad. Hello, everybody. Um, it would appear we have some technical difficulties here. So um, please give me one moment. You may see some weird stuff pop up on the screen for a second, but it must be done. All right, let's try this again. Are you tired of your hands and nails looking like this? Well, so is your man, your friends, and them bitches at your job. You know them hoes stay talking about how dusty your hands look. So why not show them some love with Loved by Verdi? The Loved by Verdi cuticle oil is just what you need to get those hands soft and supple and those nails long and strong. This light, non-greasy formula easily absorbs into the skin and is formulated with amazing ingredients, including jojoba, almond, and vitamin E oil, which are packed full of antioxidants that help to promote cellular regeneration. Benefits of using the Love by Verde cuticle oil include promoting faster, stronger nail growth, healing dry, damaged skin, and preventing your nails from drying out, helping your manicure last longer. To use the cuticle oil, Simply apply a drop directly to cuticles, then gently rub and massage them into the cuticle, nails, and work the excess into your hands. For best results, apply the cuticle oil before bedtime and leave it on overnight so it can fully absorb into the cuticles. Loved by Verde cuticle oil is not only for women, but men can use it too. I personally love to use it to moisturize my bald head after a fresh shave. After I apply my aftershave, I like to use about six drops of the oil and massage it into my scalp. This oil can also be used as a lubricant and protectant to help keep your man's beard soft, shiny, and moisturized. Just apply the oil to the beard after gently misting the hair with some water or leave-in spray and watch it make his beard sexy. And don't worry, fellas, 
Love by Birdie Cuticle Oils comes in a variety of scents, including unscented. So you ain't out here smelling all sweet like her vanilla sugar scent or strawberry scent, which are my personal favorites. Now, don't you think it's time to show your hands some love? Click the link in the description and get 0% off your next order. Visit lovebybirdie.com and grab your cuticle oil and other nail and nail art essentials today. This product is an unpaid advertisement and features unpaid actors. This cuticle oil is not a treatment for hand eczema or any other skin related diseases. This stream is sponsored largely in part from patrons on Patreon, YouTube channel members, and donations from viewers like you. Thank you. Are you thinking about supporting this channel but are a little confused about channel memberships and Patreon perks? When you join either my YouTube or Patreon membership, you gain access to exclusive perks. My YouTube channel membership is conveniently priced at $4.99 a month, while my Patreon membership is priced at $15 a month. By joining either YouTube membership or Patreon, you will gain access to an exclusive playlist of ad-free videos and tutorials, as well as access to our Discord server, where you can connect and chat with me and other members from the Afro Tribe, as well as participate in movie night every Friday night. Note, if you do join our Discord server, be sure to read the server rules entirely and follow the instructions to gain full access to our server. Perks exclusive to only channel members include loyalty badges that allow me and other tribe members to see your continued support of our channel. The badges themselves are a selection of Adinkra symbols that represent the core values of our community as the Afro tribe, which include strength, power of love, unity and diversity, intelligence and ingenuity, leadership and transformation. YouTube channel members are also able to use custom channel emoji during our live streams and watch parties. In contrast, perks exclusive to only Patreon members include one free 30 minute virtual consultation per month to get some insight and direction with your natural hair care, should you need it, as well as two copyright free streams every month via Crowdcast. If you are interested in joining either my YouTube channel membership or becoming a patron on Patreon, Check the links, which are always listed in the video description. This live stream is protected under fair use for criticism and commentary. This live stream features videos of select content creators via viewer requests seeking my professional and personal criticism and commentary. As a fellow vlogger, I encourage everyone to check out and support the creators featured here. Here in our tribe, we are a community, and we do not encourage negativity, mean-spiritedness, or cyberbullying. If that is what you are about, this stream is not for you. There is not any malicious or unethical intent of my use of the videos featured. We can disagree and engage in intense discussion, but be sure to be respectful and gracious, not only to each other, but also to the creators. It's easy to sit back and have judgment and opinions of them, but it takes a lot to get on here and share yourself, your thoughts, and your work. If your videos have been featured on this channel and you would like to have them removed, please feel free to contact me directly via email or my social media platforms located in the video description. What's up, everybody? How's everyone doing tonight? I see a lot of y'all forgot about that damn watch party tonight. Mm-hmm. Done told on yourselves. Y'all weren't thinking about me. Y'all ain't want to watch me tonight. Mm-hmm. How's everyone doing? So... Mm, sorry, y'all. That's why I made the intro really long, because I was trying to get my last-minute dinner in. But, um, let me go ahead and put that away. Mm, hope I'm not gassy <laughs> during this stream. Mm, okay. So, 
sorry for smacking in y'all ear. So, um, last week we did not have our watch party because last week I was celebrating my birthday. Was it last week? It was last week, right? Oh, shit, look, time just be flying. Yes, it was last week. We had a good old time on Crowdcast. Um, I really appreciate all of you that managed to come out and come through. And, um... All, show, shower me with all the love and the donations and the gifts and things. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I saw somebody mention that they weren't able to get on because um, Crowdcast wasn't taking their card or something. I don't know. I don't know what the situation was with that, but hopefully, um, that's not a um a widespread issue. Now. Oh, so we we got we got some we need to talk about before we get into the the watch parties. Um, but before I forget, I just want to mention that for I'm sorry, y'all. Let me just mm, for um all the channel members and Patreon members. I just wanted to take this time to rem, um just to let you all know and just to announce that. We are going to have our second Sip and Paint party next month. It'll be on May the 21st, which is indeed a Saturday. Is it? Yeah, it's a Saturday. Okay. Um, so we'll be doing that next month. Um, I got my folks on Patreon voting for the picture. And let me see if I can pull it up just so y'all can get an idea here. Give me one second. I decided I wanted to push the envelope a little bit more and um, do something a little bit more challenging and, you know, really allow everyone's creativity to shine through. So I picked for us, well, I didn't pick, uh, folks on Patreon voted for us to paint this picture here, which I think would just look fantastic fabulous on my wall i still haven't hung my first picture up but this shit gonna be interesting i don't i don't know like it's abstract so it's like you can't really go wrong but i mean if you fuck up her face then you did kind of go wrong but we'll see what the fuck happened we'll see what happened on the 21st so we'll have that to look forward to so y'all heard it here first y'all will get announcements and a link to the stream when I set it up and everything. So just be on the lookout for that sometime uh, next week, okay? Now, you know what? Give me a second. Let me finish chewing this damn broccoli. I'll be right back. Mm -mm. Bitch. Mm. Okay, here I come, here I come. Sorry about that. That, that shit is just real chewy. Um, okay. So, <laughs> um, I was thinking about getting on last week and addressing this issue, but I decided to just go ahead and wait. So, we have, actually, we have another person I need to add to the do not request list. So, let me go ahead and add her right now. Before I forget, give me one, I'm sorry, just give me a second, because, ooh, these, these folks just be coming out left and right. It don't even be my fault, though. Like, people just be having issues with me, but y'all gonna see in a second. Y'all gonna see. Okay. This heifer. Alright, so y'all know I've been cool lately. I ain't even really been coming for nobody neck. No, it's not um the uh what's her name? The uh Mademoiselle, it's not her or anything. So I'm sitting here minding my damn business. 
And I get a notification of a comment from somebody who's crying and complaining about me featuring their face on my uh, the cover of my, my video. So, who is this in question? Okay, so... So, I know y'all remember this chick who uh, was using her placenta for a hair treatment and, you know, blended it or whatever. I did my little reaction and whatnot. And so, let me... <laughs> It was just, it was just the the level of disrespect. It was just completely unwarranted. Let me let me let me pull up the fucking comment because when I tell you I have definitely grown, because baby she came at me in a way where Sindal didn't even like overstep. So let me let me go ahead and pull that up for you. So she says, "Wow." I didn't give you any permission to use my face on your cover of this video. Wow. Talk about me for 11 minutes. You should definitely do your research on my topic before you bash on me. It's terrible that you bash on your own race and make us black women look crazy because you want to be a woman. Please. Change the cover page as soon as you can and watch more of my videos. It can help improve your hair to grow back if you're struggling with hair loss or thin hair. So then I said, Shibli, did you actually watch my reaction of your video or are you going based off what someone told you? I never ever said anything about you nor bashed you at all and I didn't. Unlike you have done to me. Perhaps you should watch before you make disparaging and homophobic comments about someone. If you would like me to change the thumbnail, I have no problem doing so, but there is no need to attack me for just featuring your content and inviting discussion about women's health and use of their placentas. And do you think she responded back? No, of course she didn't. Of course she didn't. Listen, I don't remember her. Um, I don't know if you missed that one. It's kind of hard to forget. Like, she had a placenta in the sink, on the counter, stirring it up with her silverware. Like, it was just, it was very, um, yeah. So, yeah, she she definitely came from me. She she came from my manhood. She came from my, my lack of edges. Um, I mean, if I, if I got to put a placenta on my head just to, like, grow my edges back in, like, I, I just don't need edges. I, that's just me. So, not only does she have an issue with that, but, and let me, let me see if I can, let me, let me, let me pull up the fucking thumbnail, because bitch, first off, nobody was even going to know it was you until your big ass mouth came on and like, why are you using my picture of me on your platform? Let me, let me show you the thumbnail. <laughs> let me show you the thumbnail, because... Like, y'all don't even have a leg to stand on. Y'all just be... Okay, so this is... This is the thumbnail. Sis, where is your face at? Where Where is your face? I, I, I don't see you. Like, we see you, but we don't see your face. Like, nobody would have known it was you until you came up and showed your ass. So it was like, okay, cool. You don't want your picture up? Like, that's fine. I'll take it down. But, like, the whole bashing aspect? Like, ma'am... I literally didn't even say anything about her. Literally, my, my reaction was, oh, my God. She's, like, it's on the sink. There's blood on the counter. Like, she's using her blender. It was like, oh, my God. And then at the end of the video, I'm like, so is this a thing? Like, is this normal? Like, I don't know because I'm not a woman and I ain't got no placenta. So I was inviting discussion because, yeah, I was ignorant on the subject of putting your placenta in your hair. I don't know shit about that. But, um, I, okay. So 
Not only did she leave that comment, she started going underneath uh, other comment threads and like posting the same comment like, yeah, this man is crazy. He used my my picture without my permission. But it's like, it's on the public World Wide Web. Like, like, I didn't take your picture out of context or anything. I didn't frame it like it was like, oh my God. It was just like, oh my God, yeah, she got her placenta. Like, that's what the fuck you were doing. I don't understand how these people be getting in their feelings about, like, you promoting them and promoting their video or even featuring them, but they're putting themselves out there. They ask you to share the video. They ask you to subscribe and like. They ask you to watch it and, and all of that, but then they get mad when you do do it, and then, like, it's not what they intend. I just don't understand. Like, I feel like if y'all gonna be that motherfucking sensitive about the shit, you just don't need to put the shit out there, because ain't nobody... I, well, I, I won't say nobody, because y'all was definitely going in in the, uh, in the live chat. Unfortunately, um... The video in question, I, I I made it private, and then I tried to repost it as unlisted. And I guess when you make a video private and then republish it, it wipes all the comments. Um, and it also, um, yeah, it just it just wipes all the comments. I, I think the live chat is still there. But I would go back and show you the reaction, but it, it ain't even worth it, like. It's just like, sis. So she sent her lackeys on my video. Like, sp like she literally spammed my comment section. Like, she had other people spam talking about some copyright infringement. Some white dude talking about some copyright infringement. I'm like, is this your husband? Like, is this your man, girl? Like, I'm confused. Like, what, who is this, first of all? Um... And then before all this even went down, some random chick, and I'm trying to find her damn name because you on here somewhere. Here it go. So this guy talking about some copyright infringement. So then she said, I'm going to do something about this if you don't change the thumbnail. Yes, this guy is ridiculous. That is a picture of me on his cover page thumbnail. And he did not ask of my approval to use a picture of me. So, um, so then this, this bitch right here, this bitch Robin, she come on this shit talking about some, I love Shibli Peterson channel. I'm like, okay, I mean, that's great. Like, I didn't tell you not to like her. And I guess she went back and ran and told her ass, and then that's when she went off. And you know, her ass didn't even watch the shit. But I'm like, you know what? You know what, girl? You got it. Because, I mean, you out here doing all this, and, like, for what? Because clearly you're not getting the views. You're not getting the traffic. And if anything, I probably helped you to get this shit up at almost 4,000 views. But all right, it's cool. I mean, I ain't going to feature you no more. We not going to request you no more. It is what it is. Keep rubbing your insides and your, on your hair, sis. And I, I hope it continues to flourish and grow. All right. Moving right along. With that being said, um, yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. Um, so we can go ahead and open up the request, I guess. Cause we already starting late. I'm trying to find the damn sign. There we go. We already starting late, so let me just hold on. Did my shit cut the fuck off? I don't know. These, you. these people are just weird. They're just really weird. I don't. <laughs> I just don't get it. Um, what was I trying to do? Focus, Narada, focus. Where's the counter app? Lord, my phone is going off the hook and I can't even keep... Oh, here we go, here we go. Alright. If y'all hear a lawnmower in the back, that's my mama out there cutting grass. And yes... 
my damn near 70 year old mama is out there cutting grass and no i don't feel bad about it um i know i'm the grown man of the house and i should be out there but she choose to be out there because i told her as if you want me to cut all this motherfucking grass, it's just not going to happen. I don't have time to sit there and do that shit. But I will pay extra rent for you to find someone to get this grass because she don't want nobody else to cut her grass. So I said, okay, well, I'm not cutting this, so I don't, I don't know what you want me to do. I don't have time for that. Like, she going to be out there cutting grass until her ass can't cut no more. And it is what it is. All right, now let me see. I'm missing these super chats here. She out there putting in work, too. <laughs> her ass putting in work. Yeah, my mom is real picky about her grass. So, like, the last time I was out there, I was getting stung up by wasps and shit. And then, like, she didn't even give a fuck. She was like, so when you going back out to finish my grass? I'm like, I got stung in the fucking ankle. Like... I, I, like, I, this could be deathly for me. I don't even know if I'm allergic. Like, are you concerned at all? Is it a riding mower? Um, she has one, but she's probably using her little, um, weed whacker thingy, it sounds like. She got that, and she keep buying the cheap um, lawnmowers that break down after she uses it about five times. And I'm like, ma'am, just just invest. Like, you spend more money buying the cheap shit when you have this huge... Then she got in there to have this huge fucking yard, and then wants me to cut in the fucking woods. That's not even our fucking property. Like, nobody goes down, and that's somebody else's driveway. I'm not going down into the depths of somebody else's yard in a fucking forest to cut grass in a fucking forest where nobody's going to go. Like, that makes no fucking sense. Like, she was doing too much. She was doing way too much. Oh, there is something I wanted to... um to watch and check out um, before we get started with the watch parties, but um, I guess we'll do that after we rack up on the requests here. Oh, she stopped. Maybe she's coming in. Oh, I never, ch I didn't change the title of this video. <sighs> oh, hey, Crazy Natural Princess. How's it going, boo? Thank you so much for the super chat. And... One, two, three, four. Okay, four, five, six, seven, eight, All right, we ain't got a lot of requests tonight. That's fine with me. Shoot. You know what? I've been getting a, a lot sleepier a lot earlier, so that kind of works out for me. <laughs> Not her wanting to mow the seven dwarves lawn. Yes. In the woods. In the woods. <laughs> She broke her she broke her damn lawnmower cutting a fucking um a tree stump. I'm like, ma'am, th this cheap mower is not built for this. And then she wanna she wanna come to me and be like, can you fix it? No. What do I look like? Like, what do I look like? Mm-mm. My mama be doing too much. That's why I just let her do her. Doing way too much. I missed your birthday, Shane. Aw, it's okay. We had a good time. You was there with us in spirit. You get a stump grinder for that. Look, that's. I guess that's why she got that little weed whacker so she can get the little little weeds and grass and shit that grow around it. I thought plants couldn't produce placentas. Uh, I'm sorry? Who plant got a placenta? Alright, we about to um, go ahead and close it. 
Not can we watch your DL video. Oh, God. Ooh, excuse me. Do I want to watch that is the question. She treating that lawnmower like it's a Jeep. Ma'am, it's not all terrain. <laughs> Although the birthday stream is fast, can we still register to watch? I missed it and want to watch. Oh, certainly. The link is still there. You just have to register for it, and, and you should be able to view it. There's no cap on the um, on the uh, the amount of people that can register for it. So, all right, y'all. I guess we gonna keep it light tonight. Let me go ahead and close this thing. Mm. Mm hmm. So. Before we, I got you simply clever. Um, before we get into our request, I would like to. No, wait. <laughs> Go ahead and get it in. I'll I'll watch it. Go ahead and get it in. Um, I would like for us to take a look at. If I can pull this shit up, where the fuck this shit go? Hold on. My Discord acting weird. Thanks for the response, because I love watching these streams. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you guys. I I appreciate y'all being here, supporting and showing me love and coming through and all that good old stuff. However, I will say it's a very large percentage of y'all that only watch the watch parties and you be completely lost about hair care. You be completely lost about how to take care of your hair. And y'all is struggling and y'all need hair advice. I do more than watch parties. I got videos on hair care. I got videos on locks. I got videos on products. I got videos on... Tr I got videos on everything. So y'all need to peruse through the list. And if it's, if the, the list is a little too much for you, I understand I got a playlist for you, for you to start off on. Let me see here. Where is that? Nope. Where is that? Here it go, right here. Let me get y'all that link there, because some of y'all out here are struggling. Every time folks be coming in, um, they be like, oh, hey, it's my first time at your salon. They're like, hey, girl, how you know me? She's like, oh, from YouTube. I'm like, okay, well, you know. And then I'll be looking at you. I'm like, hold on, how did, how did we get here? Did you did you watch that video I did on such and such? Nah, I ain't seen that one. But I did catch that watch party you did last week. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. There, there's, there's the playlist for you that got the basics, all right? Um, okay, so let me let me concentrate because y'all know how I get. Um, and let me because I saw this in the Discord today. Kendra, I think it was your ass that posted this. Was it you? I just want to get y'all's opinion. So <laughs> What the fuck? What the fuck? Let's take a look. No, no, no music, no music, no music. So, what are your thoughts on this? Um, would you allow... Oh, my God. Would you allow your one- to two-year-old child... <laughs> let's, just call, let's just call him two. Would you allow your two-year-old child... 
to get their hair bleached. The people want to know. Please answer in the uh, the poll I just posted. Um, the, to me, this is definite child abuse. This is not okay. I feel like in this day and age, oh my God. Just seeing it is just terrible. No, but it looks good. No, it don't. No, it don't. No, no. Look at his scalp. Look at, look at they scalp. <laughs> this is, you putting these chemicals on these babies. Every time I feel like we make some progress <laughs> with this natural hair shit. Folks be out here proving me wrong every single day. Every single day. If Who the fuck said yes? You know, it's some people out there that don't like uh, polls to have 100%. So they'll just vote for the opposite answer just so that it skews the results. Someone calls CPS. Now, what about a relaxer? So, it's funny because a lot of people feel like like a relaxer is worse than bleach. However, I've seen bleach do just as much damage um, as a relaxer. Now, I'm pretty sure I don't have to explain why you shouldn't put any type of chemicals on your child's hair. First of all, they scalp ain't even fully developed yet their hair ain't fully developed their skin is very sensitive and you gonna go and 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 lighten their fucking hair with fucking hydrogen peroxide with bleach like you go you gonna go and do it like i just there isn't a law that regulates that i wonder hmm is it illegal to bleach a child's hair. Can I get into trouble with CPS for allowing my daughter to dye her hair? My child is almost six years of age. You are asking about judgment calls. CPS should have nothing to do with this unless there is a danger or harm to the child. What next? Certain clothing prohibited? Oh. I agree with both attorneys. CPS is not something to be taken lightly. It sounds like her hair natural is something she should be proud of. You should check with her pediatrician to determine whether the hair dye is safe for a five-year-old. It's doubtful, but with CPS in Michigan, anything is possible. I would be cautious of letting her dye her hair with regularity. There is some health concerns, and it may bring about some low self-esteem issues. Well, there there's some health concerns. You know what? Let me just pull the fuck out. <laughs> I, I, I have very little faith in humanity. Very little faith. Oh! Oh, Lord. See, this is why I can't watch one Paris Milan video, because then I just get bombarded. <sighs> Saw Palmetto for baldness. What do you think? I have no idea what that is. <laughs> I, I don't think anything. I've never heard of that before. Is that a, a herb, an oil? Does anybody know anything about that? All right, let, we going to photogenic has rebranded. Can we watch the new video? See, here's the thing with photogenic. I feel like photogenic, the type of person to, like, flag my shit. I don't know why. I, and then on top of it, he's an attorney. I just don't want to mess with that at all. We watched him before, and we, we managed to slip through the cracks. But, you know, the way YouTube is set up now... They make it easy for all of us YouTubers to see if somebody else has featured us in their content. Like, it, it actually notifies us now. So, 
Um, I think we should leave that alone. It's an herb usually found in pill form. It's a herb. Never used it for hair, though. Soft palmetto can have serious side effects. Is great for skin rejuvenation and wrinkles. All right. Yeah, I I don't know anything about that. I'm gonna be honest. I don't I don't really know anything about treating alopecia. So if it's a alopecia question. I don't know nothing about treating that. Like, what I do know is that you definitely want to avoid causing more trauma to the area. Um, alopecia is caused by various reasons, but as far as, like, curing or treating, I'm, I'm not the person. I'm not the person to ask. Let me um, refresh my page here so we can get started. Sorry, y'all. It's 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 one of them nights. I just finished cooking, and I was like, "Let me hurry up and and get here on the stream so we can have our watch party." Cause I know they. I was like, "I know they feed it for." I've been missing for a whole week. I know they feed it. Yeah, I was like, "Shit, it was a watch party today." <laughs> I heard it was for male pattern baldness. Okay, I'm a, I'm cool with hair wax on children, but chemicals shouldn't be used at all. Even weave shouldn't be used at all on children. Just my opinion. Oh, well, pulling out of that one. I'm pulling out of that one. All right, so let me see what we got first. What we got first. First super chat of the night, we got. Hold on, where is it at? Oh, we got Courtney. What's up, girl? She said, "Can we watch Caramel Coil's video? Your pick." Let me see. What's she talking about? Hmm. Jesus, she got a lot of hair. Hey, let me see. Wash day, shingling now. Uh, oh, body snatched out. Revisiting Rev Air. What, what did she post here? Diffusing washing on. Uh, hold on, let me let me find a good one here. I can find one. Hmm. I don't know. Let's watch this. Well, I, I kind of want to see some action. I don't want to see her just talk about products. But maybe the products isn't a bad idea. Hmm. Let, uh, let's watch her pre poo Let's do that one. Y'all know my ass real indecisive. <laughs> we ain't got all night. Caramel, how you spell that? Car 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 caramel, caramel. Damn, bitch, you can't spell. How the fuck that shit spell? I knew it was two A's. I knew it was two A's. Yo, ass. It just looked funny. <laughs> Alright, where is it at? There we go. Hey y'all and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I am going to be trying out African Prize Moisture Miracle Pre-Poo that I've heard so many amazing... Oh shit, I didn't even know she was going to use that one. <laughs> ...things about for the last year, year and a half. But so many people rave about this product and although I'm not a pre-poo person, if you guys have been following my channel for a while, you guys have never seen me use a pre-poo. 
the last time I pre-pooed, or at least attempted to pre-poo, was probably back in college. That's great. Chica Rose said, vid of your choice. Thanks for educating us. Oh, thank you, thank you. I got you. I used that recently and loved it. Hold on. Didn't somebody else had a... Oh, it was Nadia. She said, Rada, love your uploads this week. Tell Aaliyah we said hi, boo-boo. I sure will. Sorry, y'all. I'm all over the place. Thank you, thank you. All right. But let me know in the comments why you guys use pre poos. Is it just to like save time in the shower? Is it because you feel like pre poos give you like extra moisture? My goal here is to just, I guess, avoid spending unnecessary time in the shower. But to be honest with y'all, my hair is really, really, really matted. I'm not sure how this is gonna. Um... All right. Girl. So this is what it's looking like. Jesus. Do. Jesus be a hair clip. I can add a little, a little moisture while I'm, you know, trying to separate it. Trying to like oh my God, her little thingy is pierced. Yeah, All right, so we got this section right here. Ooh. Yeah, you see what I mean? This is what I'm talking about, but. We gonna see what this pre poo is about. Yeah, that shit about so, to melt them tangles. You guys probably have already used this product. I'm probably the last one to <laughs> try it out, but this is the consistency. It's super like runny. It's yeah, it's kind of it slimy. Like a, hmm. Actually, no. I was gonna say it feels like um like a main choice, like one of the main choice gels, but not even. Hmm. I don't know, but let's see what it's about. I mean, I don't even know how. Ooh. <laughs> Let me speed this up. I don't know why we watching on normal speed. Y'all know we never watch on normal speed. Oh, okay. Hold on. The slip is insane. And if I if I understood cor correctly, based off of the ingredients, I don't think I see any silicones in there. But don't quote me on that. Melanie, oh. thank you so Melanie, much. Thank you. I watch everything on 1.5, sometimes 1.7. No, that's too fast for me. See, I, I blame TikTok. I blame TikTok for that. It reminds me of like a Starbucks refresher. So I just finished um, drinking a mango lemonade SIE. No, a mango lemonade dragon fruit refresher. Kind of, sort of, in the slow. Damn, it legit melted them tangles out. Like, what tangles, bitch? <laughs> Let me see what it. Uh. Has anyone tried the Just For Me Curl Piece Tender Head Pre-Shampoo Detangler? I prefer it over the African Pride one. Ooh, interesting. I may have to look into that. It's been like maybe two minutes. What's the product? It's the um the African Pride Pre-Poo. Um, African Pride Pre-Poo something. Shit. It's, it's a detangler. It's not like a treatment. I think some, I had um, a couple people that was trying to use it as a, a, uh, a treatment. And I'm like, nah, this is just to get knots and tangles out and shed hair. Like, don't use it for that. And if you do pre-poo, do you skip the conditioning process in the shower, I guess? I'm assuming, right? I'm assuming that I would just pre-poo, shampoo, and then maybe just jump straight to the conditioning. I think that would make sense. Instead of having to like all over. Oh, you guys, I'm in the process of setting up my Amazon store. So y'all can get all of my favorite products. This is going to be on the list. I think I have to do with the product that I had in my hair before, but I do have some product build up on my hands. I don't know if you guys can see lots of product build up on my hands and my hair as well. But y'all already saw my hair was pretty kicked on before I even used the um pre So that's the only thing that I would say I've noticed. And my hair does shrink up pretty quickly after using it, so I want to say it's probably the glycerin. Glycerin is like the third ingredient on the ingredients list. So oh, hold on. Why are you over here texting on Amazon? You know what? Bump that. Amazon be tripping. Y'all need to just go to the beauty supply store. Or maybe you can find it at Walmart, but... Amazon tripping. They trying to give you the, uh, have you buy it in bulk. Like, who trying to do that? Yay, about time. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, you can turn that down. Gabrielle, you made it to the first live. Yay! The pre-poo all over. This is 
in the amount of hair that I lost. So I picked up most of what I could off of the floor. I think it's safe to say that this is not as much hair as I'd usually lose if I was detangling in the shower with a conditioner and my brush. Um, my hair feels really, really, really soft, super manageable. I can run my hands through my hair for the most part. Um, yeah, and I'm impressed. I'm thoroughly impressed, you guys. Like, I just never thought I'd be able to basically detangle my hair outside of the shower, no water, no detangling brush, use my hands, and be able to thoroughly detangle my hair in the time period that I did. I think overall, let's say if I wasn't filming and I was just doing this on my own, I think I could probably get this done in like 30, 35 minutes, to be honest with y'all. That's with no distractions, of course, and just like focusing on, you know, applying this product. And this is how much I have left. Jesus, that's a long ass time. She still got a lot of hair. Yeah, it's a larger container. What is this? 12 ounces? I think 16 ounces would be perfect. Hold on, how much did she use? To be honest with y'all. That's with no distractions, of course, and just like focusing on, you know, applying this product. And this is how much I have left. So, I think, to be honest with you, Oh, she used over half of it. Yeah, she should have just used more water. That's. That's why. That's a really long time. That's probably not a really long time for her because as much hair as she has. And then on top of it, she was doing mostly finger detangling. She wasn't doing like any brushing or combing or anything. I think they should probably get a, a larger container. I use that product. It flakes. No, it doesn't flake because you're supposed to wash it out. It's, it's, it's a pre-poo, so it, it's not meant to be left in. It's a pre poo so you wash it out so there should be no opportunity for it to flake. 12 ounces? I think 16 ounces would be perfect for the product. I, I don't like it with water. It turns into glue in my hair. Girl, what you had in your hair when you put that shit in? Girl, you had that got to be glue in it, didn't you? I can probably get maybe two more uses out of this. <laughs> I'm pretty heavy handed. I probably used a little more than I needed. But I mean, welcome to the life. If anything, the water should thin it out. Wash my hair. Well, not really wash my hair. I'm going to rinse this out. And then I'll be doing a clay mask. Um, so. Damn, I was walking around looking like a snowman for no reason. And see, you got to read the instructions. Keep in mind, I have not shampooed my hair. Like I said, I'm going to be using a clay wash today. A clay mask today. But, um. Overall, I really enjoyed my experience using the pre poo. I've never really used the pre poo before, so I don't really have much to compare to, but I did enjoy the experience. Love the fact that I did not have to spend like an hour and a half in the shower. So, pre poo got most of my tangles out. I also didn't lose much hair in the shower after rinsing this out. So, my point still stands that I definitely lost less hair detangling with the pre poo rather than uh, detangling in the shower with my, uh, with my detangling brush and re regular rinse out conditioner. But I just wanted to show you guys really quick what my hair looked like, how it felt before I go in with the clay mask. So, in another video, I'm going to be filming a QA while uh, applying the clay mask. So, stay tuned for that. But, hopefully, you guys. All right, that was a great video. I'm going to show my support and. So Hit the thumbs up. Great video, Caramel Coils. Very much appreciated. All right. I think we took a lot from that video. Moving right along, we're going to move on to our super chat request here. We have Bree. What's up, girl? She said, flat twist updo on old wash and go. All right, let's take a look here. Oh, shala. Oh, shala. Oh, la, shala. Oh, you know, no, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Why do I see Takashi 69 I'm telling you, you click on one video and then they just like throw all these random shit at you. I don't, I'm, I'm not into that. I, I don't know nothing about him. I don't care about him. I, no. No. <laughs> don't get the wrong impression. Damn, my mama at it again. She on her riding lawnmower this time. Girl, go somewhere! You ruining my stream! I should go out there and bring her some ice cold lemonade and some booty shorts. <laughs> Be like, you thirsty, baby? Come get you a sip. <laughs> it's 8 p.m. What is she doing? Listen, my mama does not care. 
I've seen her out there cutting grass at night. I've seen her out there digging in the fucking dirt with a spoon. Like, my mama does not. My mama is country, okay? She is from Charleston. She get down and dirty, okay? She do not care. She got that thing on overdrive. <laughs> Still light outside. Bring your mama a drink. Tag team, you made it. What's up, boo? All right, we're going to watch uh, Ola. We're going to watch this video. All right, thank you for the request, Bri. All I want to do is tell you that I love you. I know you better. All right, yep. We're definitely not going to do that. Oh, this is cute. I like this. I'm from the country, South Carolina, but I pay someone to do my yard. Well, look, can you talk to my mama? Because, like, <laughs> she out here doing this work. She be out there for fucking hours. And I'm like, ma'am, if you just pay these people money, they will take care of it for you. I promise you. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am trying something a little different on my old wash and go because quarantine and I'm not mad about it, you know? I'm learning about my hair. I'm trying different hairstyles on my hair and things like that. So this is a day eight wash and go. This is the last wash and go I had uploaded and I used the wet, extreme wet line gel in the Camille Rose combo. So this is the hair from that video. This is day eight. And as you can see, oh, I'm okay. That's so not bad for day eight, Instagram, but the flex is a little much. Yeah, an Instagram handle, and I was just like, wow, I really like this. This would be great on the old washing good just to switch things up a little. So I was like, oh, let me, let me give it a try and give her a credit, too. So without further ado, let's just jump right into this tutorial. So this hairstyle is supposed to be like a, uh, like a almost like a puff updo, but it's like a twist puff updo. Um, that's what we want to call it. So... Um, Hold on. Disclaimer. This is a date. Your mom might be like me. I get pleasure out of doing lawn and plant care. Oh, that's great. You should definitely come cut our grass then. You'll get all the, the, the pleasure out of the, our big old yard and cutting in the woods. But no, my mom does get something out of, of caring for her lawn. Like, she likes making sure her lawn is just, like, A1 so she can, like, have the best yard in the neighborhood. Like, yeah. But um, my mom's my mom's yard is like her man at this point. Like, th th she makes love to him every week for hours and hours at a time. Just every week, she's out there just making love. Just sound. <laughs> Please just stop. Ooh, the flakes. So I'm just parting it not perfectly. You know, I'm just trying to use my fingers to try to part it before I go in with like a comb. A rat tail comb. <laughs> Wait a minute. So what? I think this is what I'm going to leave out as. Maybe I should add a little more to it. I'm, listen, I'm telling you, he, he said he get pleasure out of doing the grass. I'm telling you, my mama get the pleasure too, and she out there getting her pleasure right now. <laughs> you're not going to see the seam of. It's giving Aspen. It's giving so Denise Dora. Girl, away, shut the yeah. fuck up. <laughs> and then what the fuck is this? this? Girl, and what so the fuck is this? Time to just um, do the little twist up dudes. And uh, yeah. So y'all really be walking around with this shit in your head for a whole week? Chill. Sit. Not going to. Can't even lie, that's how my hair looks right now. Oh shit, I wasn't talking about you, Brooklyn. The lies! There you the go, lies. there's bitch. The I'm lies. telling you. Trifling. Uh-uh, uh-uh. The truth is a lie. So sh should she bring it up a little bit higher? All right, flat twist it up. Okay, come on, flat twist skills. Truth is, I'm tired. <laughs> Just do the Camille Rose and accept the flicks on the fifth day, sis. 
I could not apply additional products on top of a oh, wash and go. It would be build up for days. Yeah. She, at least she's being pretty minimal with it. I think at this point the water's kind of reactivating the product. So I think she did that just to make sure she get all her edges in. Oh, she got a lot of breakage around that hairline. Uh, seeing this makes me want to flat twist my own hair. Oh, wait. <sighs> Maybe I should just watch Chablis' video and learn how to grow my edges back in since I want to be a woman now. <laughs> Girl. Keep having babies so you can have treatments for your hair. <laughs> Sis, please. She don't want it. You can flat twist your beard, though. Yeah, you're right. I could. Maybe I will. I, I don't think I'm going to do any, like, styles on my beard locks. I think that would look kind of kind of weird. Just have all these parts in your beard. That would be kind of weird. Hey, y'all, you know what they say. Dirty hair grows. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? A tip that might be useful if you mix samples of two or more products and the mixture turns gunky clumpy, then the products are incompatible and will probably leave flaky buildup on your hair and scalp. Definitely true. I always, I always mix on the back of my hand too. You, you can see how they kind of blend and mix. The ultimate flakeless wash and go for me is kinky curly custard with what is CM aloe whipped gel? Camille, Camille? No, that's not Camille Rose. What is that? Could, oh, oh shit! Hold on. I'm gonna go in with the extreme gel. The same gel I used from the last time, and I'm going to like just twirl and just define the curls on the ends of the flat twist. So I'm just gonna do it. Okay. Trying that tip in both products, mix great in my hand, but flake like crazy the next day. Oh shit. Did you mix it right? Hmm. Well. Oh, oh, Camille Rose. I don't know what. Uh, did I say Camille Naturals? I don't know what the fuck I was saying. See how this is gonna work. <laughs> okay. Just, yeah, just fluff it out. It's it's good. That's that's kind of the look. The result looks like. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad, you know? I'm not, like, 100% in love. Um... It, you just need to sculpt it a bit more. Okay. The rubber band showing. It's not bad. You know, shit. Ooh, that one flat twist on the side. Okay, well, you know, it's kind of hard to part the band. It's cute, though. It's cute. I don't know what you told me now. I have to like do my whole head. I would just have to do this chunk over here, which would save me so much time. So you know what? I'm not mad at it. You know, I like it. I think it's a cute little updo. So yeah, this is the end of this video. I don't know. For all this time you spent flat twists, and you could have just washed your hair and 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 did all this anyway. But that's just that's just what I would do. But you know, <laughs> who cares what I would do? I would read the comments, but it's all saying the same thing. All right. Thank you so much. You know what? I like this. I'm feeling real generous today. I'm going to hit this thumbs up and hope and pray that this does not pop up all over my feed. And why is this popping up on my feed? I'm sorry. I wish I cared, but I don't. Oh, so tragic. All right. Um, that was so fucking insensitive. I know.
I thought that I was like, wait, didn't it say somebody just died? Like the fuck? You insensitive bitch. Okay, um, we're gonna move on to the, the next video. From Bailey London, she said, can we watch your DL video? Mm-hmm. Let's see here. I haven't seen that in a long time. Just go take it out your wallet. See, that's too much work. That that take too much. I mean, yeah, maybe you are right. Maybe I should just. Oh, God. What the hell are we talking about? What the hell are we talking I'm scared to watch this. <laughs> you know, shit like this just don't age well. This shit don't age well. Let me see. Welcome back. As you can see, we're back in our little setup. It's me and it's Alicia. Y'all, you guys know the deal already. <laughs> so, today's topic on LGB Talk is going to be download, DL. So, this topic has been on my mind for the longest. Those of you that follow me on Facebook know I had an incident earlier last month. We don't touch on that in this video. So, I don't know what happened. What do you think we should start off with? Okay, first of all, before we get into anything else, um, first of all, let's define what DL means for some people that don't know what it means. So, DL basically generally refers to black gay men who... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa, you can't say that now. You can't say no. It no, does. No, 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 no. I'm not saying in all cases, but generally it does. Yeah, but shoot, I mean, you still can't say that, though. You can't just say black. I'm not man, I'm not saying black I mean. men are the only DL. I'm just saying, typically, when you hear the term DL, it's usually being used to refer to a black gay man. I mean, you're right. I'm not, I'm not even going to deny that. My okay, bad. So, you. You're right, though, but... When people use that term, they generally are referring to a black uh, man who is engaging in both heterosexual activity as well oh. as homosexual activity. What is this? Men who usually identify as straight but have sex with men on the side without disclosing this to their female partners. Activity. Um, however, before I get on that, because we're we, we going to have a little discussion on that subject, let's not confuse... DL with being discreet. I think there is a distinct difference between being DL and discreet. Discreet means you're just, you know, you're gay or you're, you know, whatever the case is, you're gay or bisexual, but you just don't put yourself out there in the public eye like that. Like, you guys know I'm pretty open when it comes to my sexuality. It's not something I try to hide. Not all gay people are like that. I understand that. I don't have no problems with it. I generally don't talk to or date people like that because that's a whole other subject. But basically, I just want to make the point that discreet and DL are two separate things. DL, DL is just kind of somebody who's playing both sides of the fence. But I, don't, I also don't want it to get interpreted as just being bisexual because I think there's a difference. Now, you were saying something earlier about B DL and bisexual being one of the same thing. I don't think it no, is. No, I mean, okay. no. Like, I don't think it's the same. I don't think it's the same thing, but I mean. But you're saying all DL men are bisexual. That's what you're saying. I mean, I mean, I feel that. I mean, I feel that. If you keep going back to the same thing, I mean, then obviously you is bisexual. You keep going back. It's not like it's a one night stand because we talked about that too. Because I mean, one night stand is a one night thing. You know what I'm saying? It's a one night fling. But if you keep going back to that same person or keep going back to the like same sex, you know what I'm saying? You consider bisexual, especially if you still got. I mean, especially if you still like. You I, know what I'm saying? Like, like I understand you know? that, but I feel like some of these DL men, they are in denial about it. That's they in denial, but still, right. I mean, but they they participate in these gay activities. But they hold on to this heterosexual, this straight. Okay, let me see. So it's discreet when someone asks them if they are gay, they have no problem telling you, but they just keep their private life to themselves for the most part? Yeah. Because, I mean, honestly, everyone doesn't need to, like, wear their sexuality on their sleeve. Like, everyone everyone doesn't need to know who you sleep with, how you get down, what, what you do. Are you a top? You a bottom? You like? Do you like it? You know, what? How, how do you like it? Everybody don't need to know that. It's really not anyone's business but when you talk about gay for some reason it just the term gay just really is uh, like sexual 
it, it's just very sexual in context. Like it, a lot of people get stuck on the the sexual part and forget it's more so about attraction. But and that's, see, this is why I identify as same gender loving now. I'm I'm leaving the gay shit with the queens on the and the gay pride and stuff. I was talking to this one guy. He was talking about he was going to. Um, what was he saying? He was going to a gay bear, gay bear pride parade in Atlanta. And I was like, wait, there's a gay bear pride? Like, what? what? But you know what? But this, this also goes back to what I said. I'm like, the, the whole gay thing isn't really... The whole, L, well, I'm not going to say LGBT because that's, that's a bit of a stretch. But the whole term gay and the gay agenda and the gay propaganda is, is not really inclusive for minorities as a lot of people think it is. Because that's why we have black pride and then we have white pride. Like, if, it's, if, it's, if we're all gay, it should just be one pride, right? But no, that's, that's not really how it works. I guess I'm discreet. Shit, you might be. I don't know. <gasps> Did I cut my finger? No, I'm good. All right. Let's keep going. Hold on. What happened now? What John do say? <laughs> I was at a golden corral when a man snuck away from his church group with his wife and asked me to meet him later at the hotel while his wife was at the church event, I was disgusted. What I tell you, anytime you want to find you a gay nigga, just go to church. I told you, they be at the church. Y'all think I'm playing. Them mofos be up in the church. Them, them mofos be having orgies and everything else. You think you praying and to, uh, uh, help being prayed to by a man who's sanctified and glorified and shit? Child, listen. And I ain't putting all churches out there like that. I'm just saying, the, some of these churches, especially the gay ones here in Atlanta, you know, you got to be careful. That kind of reminds me of that other story, this other guy who was trying to court this woman at our salon. It was an older woman, and she worked at this restaurant across the street, and he would, like, pop in our salon. This is, like, the first year, so he would pop in the salon. And I'm telling you, this old woman was bad. Like, I don't even want to call her an old woman. She was a woman of a certain age, but she was bad. Like, she had the low cut, like the TWA. She came in with her dresses, and she, you know, she had a little strut or whatever, and she was just looking bad. And then this old man, he saw her. He would always come in when she would be in there and try to like spit his little game or whatever and I guess he came in one day and she wasn't there but he noticed me and he took his opportunity to like speak to me outside or whatever and then he wanted to tell me you know I, I know how I used to get down or whatever you know before I found God and before I got married or whatever da 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 and I'm like what the fuck is you telling me this for cause like Nigga, like, what the fuck you think about that happened between me and you? Ain't shit happening here, so. But it was just funny because he was kind of trying to press on me to see where I was at. But at the same time, he was, like, trying to get with old girls. So it was just, like, it was dumb, though, because it was, like, why, why would you do that? And, like, literally, I'm in close proximity with this woman. And, literally, she could just come in and I could just tell her, like, yo, old dude that was trying to take you out on that date, you might want to leave his ass alone. It, it's just weird. All right, well, sorry. Because they refuse to accept the fact that that's, they're homosexual. Yeah, that's that they're trying to hold on to this, this image that everyone perceives of them to be or that they're supposed to be because they have not yet accepted with themselves. Not all people, but there are a lot of men who are... It confused and in denial about the whole situation well, when it comes to that DL. You know what that heard. sounds like to me? A personal, a personal problem. problem. That's, but that's, that's it, it's a personal problem, but it affects everybody. It really does. Because, like you said, these men are going out. They, they have girlfriends. Mean, they have wives. They have baby mamas. They have families. They have children. But they are going out, you know, when nobody else is around, having sex with these men, having, you know, interactions with these gay men, living this gay lifestyle. And then they come back home acting like everything's all cool and nothing else going on. I mean, so, before we even get started on this topic, I'm just going to say like this. I probably said it in another video. I don't know if I did, but I don't respect niggas like that. I mean, I, I ain't mean to say, I don't mean to say niggas, but I mean, I'm just going to keep it real. We're going to keep it real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't keep it real. Like, for real. I do not expect, uh, respect niggas like that at all. Because, uh, I mean, mm -hmm. you come home, you know what I'm saying? You got a, you got a wife. 
Or you even got like a girlfriend and some kids. You know what I'm saying? You suck on nigga up, nigga up, oh. or you letting you getting served oh. or something like that. Then you go home to your wife. And she want to get it on, and you doing it raw to Oh, hide your kids, hide your wife. Y'all, put your headphones on. This this too much for the babies. If you're riding your car, take it off the damn the car speaker, okay? This is, uh, we going into raunchy territory here. Uh, what's in the blue drink? You know what? Everybody asked that. I believe it was, uh, what was that? Was it, was it blue... Hawaiian Punch? I feel like that's what it was. I feel like it was Blue Hawaiian Punch. Okay, let's let's continue. Jesus. Uh, meaning that you might end up giving her something. I have no respect for niggas like that. I don't care if you do see this and you comment and saying you wrong and all this. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Because that's wrong as hell. Like, you gonna sit up there and kiss your baby girl. Knowing that you probably don't serve this nigga up raw like dude, that's that's some nasty stuff. And you women, on some real stuff, my bad boy. <laughs> but women, y'all need to wake up. For real, this stuff is not no freaking game. This shit is not no damn Tyler Merrick Perry movie. He's showing it, but it's real though. <laughs> this stuff ain't no freaking fairy tale camp oh story. For real, this stuff is real. Wake up. But for real. But what I want to say is she she brought a good point about you know these men going out having sex with other men raw. That y'all, I've talked to other gay men um, about DL. I've actually spoken to some DL men and um, their logic is just so screwed up. It really, it does not make any sense. You And then you try to ask them, why are you, you know, going to this person, that person, going back to your girlfriend? Why are you doing this? They don't ever, never, not one time has any one person explained to me. They always, oh, that's just me. I just, I do me. Oh, I was about to say something. Oh, I was about to say something. Cause I, you, bro, you said, oh, never mind, but we gonna continue on with it. <laughs> but like, yeah, I, I don't want to make it seem like, oh, gay people have all the diseases, and these DL men are having sex with these gay men and bringing it home to straight women. And that's because. It, it goes on both sides. You know I mean, what I'm saying? Because, I mean, I believe, honestly, I believe my mom thinks the same. Well, I believe she thinks that gays carry all diseases. It is not true at all. The point that I want to make is don't get so stuck on the term DL. When you take off that label, all it basically is is somebody cheating. That's all it is. And I mean, you know, mm -hmm. faithful, but yeah, yeah. Um, just, no, that, no, no, no. Yeah. I don't, I don't agree with that. Now, I'm sorry, I don't. Agree uh, with yeah, that. I, yeah, I can say that. You're right. I, I can say that. I mean, there's this whole um, connotation behind the, you know, down low men and black gay men or whatever. But you take all that away, it's just a man cheating on his girl with. With either a man or another woman. What difference does it make? Good oh, child. Growth is a beautiful thing. Mm. He's cheating, nonetheless. Yeah, yeah. So, um, anything else you want to add about this whole situation? I mean, I really can't say. I mean, all I can say is just, like, when we was talking earlier, I mean, I just... I just don't respect niggas like that. I have no type of respect. I, I don't uh, either. I have. I, that, 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 what are we shit, talking I mean, about for 20 minutes? Oh, that ain't never happened you to me. You DL men disgust me. <laughs> you are pathetic and weak. You really Ooh. are. I have to agree with him. I have to agree with you like 100% <laughs> Because, I mean, it never happened to me before. You know what I'm saying? And I hope it don't ever happen to me. But, I mean... In a way, can we even tie? I mean, you say we can't like tie bisexual with DL. I don't, I don't think we can. Now, see, a lot of people say that, but I feel in order to truly be bisexual, heterosexual, homosexual, whatever the case is, it's not just the physical act of it, the physical aspect. I think it's physical, emotional, and mental attraction to whichever sex you're but attracted if, to. I mean, respectively. but yeah. because so what is the difference between bisexual and DL? You can be open about your bisexuality. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can be open too, but at the same thing, I mean, at the same time, it's like... But, but see, this goes back to DL being about cheating. Being, um, not right. being open to your partner about what you're doing. That's what it comes down to. I mean, you're right. You can right. be bisexual right. and let your girl know, look, you know, I, you know, I fool around with, you know, other people before you know but i'm with you i'm committing myself to you or whatever the case Boy, is. what but when you aren't 
when you're not open or you don't have that communication with that person to let them know that, yo, I'm fooling around with you, but I fooled around with Bobby last week or, or Jonathan and Sean the week before that, then, you know, that's what it is. So I, I agree with you on that. I agree with you. Um, it's, it's it's amazing and it's very. It's shocking, not amazing man. at all. It's, to me, it's amazing to me because I mean, this can be like the most hood or most athletic and, man. And, and, and that's at the point. end of the day or at on the weekends, this nigga gets served. And, okay, <laughs> what type of city you live in? What type of man it is? There are doctors who are down low, lawyers. There are trash. Um, what, sanitation workers. What? I mean, they're everywhere, pretty much. What? And they're <laughs> Nigga, what? Um, and living in Atlanta, um, and just recently, I mean, I is that her real voice? Mm-hmm. Her voice never changed as long as I've known her. Do y'all think there are DL women, or are they just bisexual? I think there are double standards for women. None of my business. I'm going to basically get on um, <laughs> my experiences being openly gay in Atlanta because I think a lot of younger viewers um, gave. I'm speaking towards my younger gay viewers, hopefully, if anyone's watching. Um, yes, being out and being open and being proud is wonderful and it's a liberating experience, but at the same time, you have to take into account the repercussions that come along with that. Um, there are a lot of men that hone in and target on these young gay individuals. Because I'm so open with my sexuality, I often get approached in public for um, sexual favors and other things. For example, um, I've been followed so many times. Um, I've been followed. It's kind of scary to, to hear it back now. I've been followed into the men's restroom. I've been followed in a car. From a grocery store, I've been. I was he stalked. You were stalked. You were stalked on the highway. Yeah. He, y'all. I was pulling oh. in. I was pulling out. Oh. Excuse me. I'm pulling out of the grocery store. He's pulling in. He sees me. He's honking his horn. I'm like, what is he honking for? Is there something wrong with my car? Like, what? What's the deal? <laughs> so I'm like, whatever. I don't know what this nigga want. I mean, oh, excuse me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, I'm pulling out. I'm on my way home. Or whatever. He pulls out and he starts following me. I'm like, oh God, are you serious? So I'm driving down the highway. I'm like, what does this do want? So I pass one light, he's still following me. I pass two lights, he's still behind me. I'm like, what is going on? Do I have to call the police to get this dude off of me? So we get to this stoplight. He comes up beside me. He rolls out his window. He's like, hey, hey. Um, I look over, I'm like, yes. He's like, uh, what do you say? He was like, uh, yo, uh, pull over in this parking lot up here. I'm like, for what? He's like, uh, I want to holler at you. I said, oh, I don't do that. And I rolled in my window. That light turned green, and I stepped on the damn <laughs> He pulled up into the gas station and turned around. But, um, yeah, that's just how crazy it was. Um, and this guy... It's funny that we can sit here and laugh about this now. But, yeah, it was like this big, burly, muscular, like... You could tell he was like a gym dude. He looked like he might have been like a, um, like a veteran or something. Like he just, yeah. It it was. He's definitely the type of person you would not expect to be like that. Follow me. He was uh, much older. I would say he was in his mid fifties. Um, very uh, muscular, very masculine. Wasted man. petrol for nothing. Um, somebody you not ooh muscles. Um, Do you have a gun? Yeah, no. Um, just recently, I was walking on my way it's to school. It's giving Walter Lee Hampton. The street. <laughs> That's kind of what he looked like. Bummy looking guy comes up to me and um, he's like, "Yo, do you suck?" <laughs> really? Only, no, I ain't gonna say only in a lot of but yeah. <laughs> I mean. And I'm sure I'm pretty sure a lot of people are sitting there watching like, well, maybe African hair guy, maybe you just you putting yourself out there in that way and that's why these men keep coming after you and you know, maybe you shouldn't be modeling and sashay <laughs> all the way to school and this, that and the other way like, long ponytail. Maybe you shouldn't be doing all that stuff. Look here. My my style, the way that I carry myself, the way that I dress, it's not hurting me. It's not hurting you. 
It's, I mean, I don't, I feel that I, I do have a feminine style, but I feel like I do it tastefully. I'm not being overly provocative. You know, I ain't got I mean, my even stuff if you were. out or anything like that. So, it's not the fact that I am carrying myself in a openly gay man. It's the fact that these men are looking for gay individuals and they want to approach somebody that they know is gay because they don't want to approach somebody that that's end up not being gay because they know they're going to end up getting messed up. So, to my younger viewers, um, I just want to put that information out there because a lot of times we kind of make this whole being gay and being open to be such a liberating experience, but at the same time, you just you have to understand that, that you have to be prepared for different things. You have to be prepared, prepared for um, discrimination, prejudice, and you know, being followed by DL men who who want some booty. Yeah. Like, I mean, I can't say it for the lesbians because I mean, I don't. I was gonna oh. ask you that. Do, do you know of any download? I mean, I'm pretty sure there are. I would, hey, K, I thank you for the super chat. chat. Well, teacher. Oh, yeah, but the, we ain't gonna, we, we we gonna, gonna get into that though. But we I, ain't gonna, <laughs> <laughs> like, I ain't even gonna lie. It was, uh, it was this, it was this one teacher. You know what I'm saying? And while I was in high school, she, mm -mm -mm. she, I yeah. never would have guessed. Mm. Call me. Wait. <laughs> no, not no, call no, me. No, no, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just plan, but not no, um. No, she not. Anyways, not a um for real, like um. Oh, you know what? Now that you mention it. Now that you mention it, that teacher did carry some DL tendencies because she sure enough was um, engaged to be married. Yes, a teacher. A teacher. Mm hmm. And she was my teacher too, and I liked her. And when I found that out, she told me after we graduated years after, and I was like, no, the fuck, she not. You just wanted her because she was bad. And she was like, no, bro, she felt me up. And I was like, what? So, um, yeah. And she she wasn't no she wasn't no stud. She was definitely a hard lipstick, you know, femme, womanly woman. Okay, that's horrible. Look, Alicia wasn't traumatized by the shit. <laughs> that's not funny. Sexual assault is not funny. You know what? God, I gotta. Let me finish this video. I gotta go to the bathroom. I think about these DLs, like, I think it's very sickening because, I mean, you doing it with these niggas not knowing where they from, who they just left, who house they probably just left. Though, I mean, you just. Alicia, a lot of them don't care. I've talked to somebody who, um, I talked to somebody who was HIV positive, and, um, he said he had encounters with, you know, DL men, and he would tell these men, yo, I'm HIV positive, so, you know, we gotta be cool, but they, he, he said they didn't care, they still wanted to do him raw, and they did, well, I mean, they didn't, I, they don't care, I just and don't... they, 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 they just don't care, y'all. I they, just don't understand about they, that. I mean, why would you sit up there and whisk your wife over, what, eight minutes? Yeah, I mean, my mouth dropped when he told me that. Living fully healthy over eight minutes for what? I don't know. Whatever Some... happened to the right hand? <laughs> it doesn't do no pleasure anymore? Like, damn. I guess not. I mean, I I'm mean, just saying. They I mean, act like it's itching and it's on fire. Basically, I mean, shoot. Out. I mean, is it it's that no, damn bad? It is like, not damn, that serious. Really? No, like, no lie. He he legit told me that, and I was like, "Wow!" Like people, like these men really just don't like. They just be fiending for it. They want they want it raw. They don't want to protect themselves, and like yeah. So these these people is out here where they suicidal. Nah, they just they just wanted what they wanted. To to I guess to them having HIV wasn't as scary as like not being able to be with another man. I don't know. That's what I'm telling you. The 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 psychology of it all, the 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 logic it doesn't make sense. They're not sensible. Like it, it doesn't make sense. Not that serious. So and um I don't wanna just put all the, the blame on DL man because they have to be doing it with somebody. So, a lot of these gay men are... You know what? They probably already knew they had it. That's probably what it was. They probably already knew they had it. And they were probably... 
less concerned about passing it on to him than the other guy was about like him catching it from him. That's probably what the fuck it was. The fact that they like so chill about it, mm. also to blame because they go into these um, sexual encounters with these DL men, knowing that they have wives, knowing that they have children, knowing that they have you know baby mamas, all this other extra stuff. They don't. They don't care. Um, and it's so funny because uh, oftentimes I've had you know DL men try to come at me. Just. This African dude hit me up on Facebook. I, I guess he saw one of my videos. He starts getting all personal and stuff. He's like, um, so how you play the game? What is this, what Nintendo? Game? What is this, Monopoly? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm participating in this shit. Right. He's like, um, oh, really? do you play the girl or the boy? <laughs> really? I mean, it's a legitimate question. So no, it ain't. No, it ain't. There ain't no legitimate question. Naturally, me. Thank you so much for the stories. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get you your thank you. Thank you. Uh, he, he goes on to say he has a wife and kids, blah, 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 blah. Not um, the African prince in Atlanta. And he's like, yeah, I wouldn't mind um, uh, trying it with a guy. What are you telling me for? <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't you be telling your wife that? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, they out there. Um, you don't need me to tell you that. You you already know. You know some of them that you do need to tell because some I of mean, these women they blonde. They some of them like just it, so some of them. It don't matter what I tell them. They 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 just as in denial as these DL men are. It it don't matter. I can sit here and tell them all day. I just think that shit is just like so nasty. Y'all, I mean, these niggas just y'all y'all think that shit just y'all would nasty, not believe you know, the, the stuff that happens to me. I can't even go in Walmart and buy some cookies without some white <laughs> dude coming up asking me if I got fifteen minutes to give him. <laughs> 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 so the point of this video is don't 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 trust nobody, and that's the advice that this. Um, that gay individual who was HIV positive told me, he said, don't They want to buy your cookies. <laughs> and when he said that to me, it... You know what, though? I don't get approached like that. He definitely already tried it with a guy. Right, right, right. Nigga, you ain't fooling nobody. The lies. But, um, what was I going to say? Child, look, I, I ain't need them cookies anyway. It rung in my heart. I was like, wow, he... I know he's telling me this from years of hurt and experience and, and all the stuff that he's been through. I know he's telling me this. And I'm telling you, protect yourself. It don't don't put it past nobody. It's it's not it's not that it's not that Oh, good. that's what I was gonna say. Okay, so now now that I look more mature and I don't look as um <clears throat> young and pubescent now, I don't get approached or stopped at all. It may have something to do with the weight gain, too. But I think it's because I, I, I definitely look older. Once you hit 25 in the gay community, you are old queen. You old and dusty. I think... Uh, oh, that's not a good still shot. It's not that serious. I think because I just look like so young. Y'all call me Baby Rod or whatever. I think that's why they were going after me. It would be a bunch of older men trying to go after these young impressionable, like gay boys. So that's why I always say like, if your child come out, like, that's not the time to shove your child out into the world and have him fend for himself. It, that That's the time you need to pull them in closer and protect them and shield them and prepare them for what lies ahead in the world out there. Because if you think this world is crazy, the gay world is even worse. They will suck you in, shoot you up, and spit you the fuck out and leave you worse than you started off going into the shit. I've seen it happen. I've seen it happen. What the fuck? Not 25. <laughs> Just protect yourself. Um, Y'all stuck on the know, wrong thing. Um, younger viewers out there, Again, they're you know just new to coming out in the gay lifestyle, all that other stuff. Oh, they'll suck um, you in, all right. Protect yourself as well. They'll suck and I say you that in. in that aspect, and as well as you know, be careful on the streets, and you know, 
keep an eye over your shoulder because I know I have to. Um, because some of these men, they're desperate. And it's, it's really not even that serious. Um, anything else? I really don't have nothing else to say. I mean, I really don't. I just, I just, I just hope, I mean, I don't care if this video touches one person. You know what I'm saying? At least, at least that I know that it got through somebody's head. Exactly. I don't care who it is. It can be a 14 year old boy. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. Nah, 25 is the white standard. We got get 30 because black don't crack. Mm, that's true. It can be a 50 year old woman or something. I don't care. As long as this video touches somebody, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? So. And on that note, um, that's it for this video. Please, um, if you have any opinions or on this subject, stories or something. All right, all right. On that note, I, my ass got to go to the bathroom, so I will be right back. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, everybody, while we wait. And let me go ahead and play this ad real quick. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Show some love and support to Love by Verdi. Hold on. Let me get back on this page, bitch. Let me get back on the page. Hello, I am Narada Hayes. I am both a licensed cosmetologist and salon owner of over eight years here at the Green Thumb Salon located in Decatur, Georgia. As a licensed professional, my clients expect from me to not only use the best tools, but also the best products from their natural hair. That is why as a professional, I both use and recommend Loved by Birdie Cuticle Oil. This cuticle oil is not only exceptional for nails, but it's just as amazing for scalp and hair. Formulated with jojoba oil, this oil blend will not only lubricate the hair, but also help to regulate your scalp sebum production. This makes this oil suitable for all hair types, including those with extremely dry or oily scalp without being greasy. This lock retwist was done on clean hair using only the Loved by Birdie cuticle oil. A little goes a long way. Apply a few drops directly to the scalp and hair and allow the oil to smooth and coat the hair from root to tip. And that's it. Even without using any styling products, this oil will soften and condition the hair, leave it full of a sparkling sheen, and assist in sealing and retaining moisture in the hair shaft. So what are you waiting for? Show your hair, scalp, or nails some love today with the Loved by Birdie Cuticle Oil. To purchase this oil and other nail and nail art essentials, visit lovedbyverdi.com and use the discount code TRIBE15 to get 15% off your entire order. Okay, that was weird. An ad popped up in the middle of the stream. Uh-uh, it wasn't weird. It was calculated. <laughs> you don't think it was interesting that you you got to add right when I was showing love by Verdi? Mm -hmm. See, y'all wouldn't get so many ads if y'all just hit the damn thumbs up. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we gonna move on to the next request here. Let me see. We got another. Uh, we got another cash app. I'm sure. Oh, hold on. Who is this? What is this? Oh, I got a tip. Hold on. I got a couple of tips. What the, is my alert box working? <coughs> is it just me or you? Yeah, I guess I guess it's working, right? Hold on, y'all. Have I been sleeping on y'all? Get it together, Narada. 
no ads, sorry. No, it's cool. Some people get the ad and some people don't. And then if you you know, you got YouTube premium, then you definitely not gonna get it. It don't run it across everybody. Oh, snap. Okay, we do we do have some tips here. I'm sorry, y'all. I I don't know how I missed that. All right, uh, let me see. CDN4 just sent 50. She said, hooray for Thursday with Narada. Oh, thank you so much. Glad to have you here. Uh, we're going to do our next uh, tip request from Crazy Natural Princess. She said, can we watch Beauty Is Her Name? Had no idea my hair had grown so long and healthy. Of course we can. Thank you so much. Beauty is... Name. Let's see what comes up. Oh, okay. Haven't seen her before. Lola said, Verdi, when you going to add more charms and stuff to, in your nail store? You know what? That sounds like a question you need to ask her. I can't stand the mom. She do to. Oh, hold on. I don't know what we talking about here. So I'm going to just pull out. I was going to say, you can go on her. Uh, you can go on her YouTube channel and ask her. Or her Instagram. What am I trying to do? Focus. Pin. There we go. All right, here we go. Hey, my babes. They putting all this heat on this hair like it's so difficult to straighten. You be killing me. Well, shit, you ain't gonna talk. She ain't talking. All right, so let's just see. I mean, her ends could use a nice little little trim, but it ain't it ain't that bad. She has nice hair, but for how long? <laughs> Hold on, where's the sound bite? Go back. All these damn buttons. You know, I'm gonna give me another box because this, this shit ain't doing it for me. Then, everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. You know what? We need some music. Damn, she done got it so damn sure she don't even need the flat iron. Y'all remember that video I did of Aaliyah's hair doing all this? All that extra shit with the blow dryer? Mm-hmm. Let's fast forward this, please. Oh, hold on. We trimming now. All right, hold on. This music distractor. Let me see. 
is going on here? Well, she do got she does have um good round brush technique. All right, yeah, she's just doing a little dusting, just keeping the ends looking clean. She ain't taking off too much. Okay, I hope this cut is blended. It's not looking like it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how good of a cut this is. I didn't see her blending in the layers. All right, one pass. Great. Two pass, three pass. Okay, four. Oh, all right. One. Yeah, up. Oh, one. One. Okay. All right, you got it straight. Cool, cool. All right, what you, no, no, okay. Now we just eating up the ends. We eating up the ends. We just trimmed this shit. Now we gonna eat it the fuck up. <laughs> what are you doing? You don't know how to bump some ends, girl? girl oh my God. You did all this round brush and she ain't got no curl at the ends. Like what I'm not I'm not understanding. It's in the wrist. It's in the wrist. Chow. And then y'all be like, I don't know how she how I got heat damage. She used heat protected. It's called a Dominican hair salon. It's called I Hate My Nappy Hair. <laughs> That's what it, I Hate My Nappy Hair Salon. That's what it's called. If you hate your nappy hair, go to the Dominicans. They'll get rid of it for you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Girl, you already blow, blow fried it. Now, we're, what is she doing? What is that? Now she's just being extra. Okay, I think I got to read the comment section because she got a lot of followers. So, oh, that bump in the front was not. Damn, just patting her head. Okay. Her hair looks as limp and lifeless as Aaliyah's did when I, I pressed out her hair. It got more movement, though, because I she didn't use as much products as I did. It's cute, though. Yes. <laughs> Girl. I'll tell you one thing, that press going to last. Why does she trim it like that? In yeah, oh, sorry. Damn, I was supposed to unmute it. Damn, okay, she's still singing. I'll stay. Hold on, where we at? What parking lot is this? Equality. Equality. Her hair do move. All right. Let's see here. Let me let me see what I can do. Okay, let me It's it's been a while. It's been a couple of weeks. <clears throat> let me see what I can do. Renee, your hair looks absolutely gorgeous. Love to the person flat ironing your hair, though. I'm not even the type of person that's super sensitive about heat being applied to hair. But come on! She made way too many unnecessary passes through your hair. It literally should take only one pass, maybe two at the most. 
Krista getting sulky. Your hair turned out great, but I don't know what she was doing. Beautiful, healthy hair, but the way she kept using the flat iron to go over your hair so many times, yikes. You didn't need but one pass because it was already straight from the blow dryer. Way too much heat, in my opinion, but that's just me. And how is my favorite wonderful YouTube family today? Renee, you're already beautiful. It's not fair. The rest of us have to look ordinary while you keep looking more gorgeous every day. The fuck? Just one thing, though. I'm not telling the stylist how to do her job, but the amount of heat she used... Wow, I don't even use that much heat to bake a cake. Your hair and scalp can become ruined from all that. To counteract potential damaging effects, try to deep condition your hair two to three times a week. Chow and folks where they ain't got self hate issues. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Mm. All right, let's try this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's let's not do that one. I don't, I don't know what's going on there. Um, hmm. Oh, I can't pull nothing out of this, man. Yeah, we're we're, we're just gonna pull out. Sorry. I try. It's it's nothing I can pull out of here. I ain't deep conditioning two to three times. Wait, did she say that? I didn't. I didn't even catch that. <laughs> two to three times a week. Child. If if it ain't heat damage, it's gonna get damaged some sort of way over deep conditioning. <laughs> All right, we're going to uh, keep it going. Thank you for that request, uh, Crazy Natural Princess. Next, we got A.N. E.J. Speaks. This got her edged tattooed. Let's check it out. Her edges tattooed. I think I saw this going viral. I didn't see the video, but I think Henny mentioned it to me. I'm like, girl, that ain't nothing new. She was like, no. She legit got her edges tattooed. I was like, I mean, what the fuck she got to lose? Like, edges? Like, what she got to lose tattooing the damn edges on? I'm just saying. Let's see. Oh, hold up. Jane, I got my dragon fruit uh, refresher and also... I got a candle from Threshold. We're gonna call it the Midweek Candle. Uh, this one is from Threshold, and the scent is fennel plus pine. Now, is this something that's gonna be done every week? Y'all know my consistency is trash. I don't know, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. Now, when I look at the candle, it doesn't give me anything about the notes, but I will say it smells um, like it could be related. Like maybe it's a first cousin to mahogany teakwood. So like an outside masculine musk, um, not too sexy, uh, but it does smell really, really good. Moving right along, I stumbled across my good sis. And she got her some edges tattooed. She had her some baby hair tattooed. Is this a thing? I don't know. I've never seen it. I've never heard of it before. But hey, you know, <laughs> trailblazers. So clearly our good sis is an adult. And I say that to say maybe she's been struggling with growing her edges, growing her baby hairs. A very familiar struggle. So my question is, you want the front of your forehead to be a 1B, but then in the back, you want to have Starburst, Taste the Rainbow, Skittles, and every flavor known to fruity candy in the back of your head. Like, I need cohesion. I need... I, I, I need simplicity. It's too much going on here. It's, 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 it's too much chaos. I'm not even so much mad at the tattoo baby ears. Like, I mean, the design itself could have been a little cuter, but 
again, what she got to lose? It could have it could have worked, but you got too much going on. Does she have? Do she have sister locks? What is this? Well, uh, where I come from. So maybe you don't struggle with your edges. Maybe your hair not thin on the side. But you know somebody like that. So I feel like with her being an adult, I feel like she's reached her point of, I'm tired of using my oils. I'm tired of doing all this stuff that y'all say is supposed to help me grow my edges. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get my own edges my own way. Not mad at you, sis. I feel her. I don't. I, I don't. I do feel her in the sense of, <laughs> I'm not gonna keep waiting, right? But then I feel like if, if, if edges is what the goal was, you, you done tattooed and that... The, I don't, can can hair grow through tattoos? I don't know. Initially when I saw this, she made me think of one of my cousins um, because my cousin is uh, the younger one um, and she used to always say when we would get dressed and go somewhere or we would be at an event, she would always say, I'm not gonna be zero. That's cold for y'all not gonna be looking like y'all a 10 and then here I come looking like a three. So I feel like this young lady was saying, you know, I'm not gonna keep being the only one in the group without edges. Y'all not gonna out edge me. Oh, you think you're the only one that can have baby hairs? Boom, watch this. And looking at the edges, I feel like it was a guy that done these tattoos because no way a black woman would make those edges that big, you know, because we understand versatility. So they would have made them little. They would have made them like not identical uh, because sometimes <laughs> you feel ugly. Sometimes you feel yeah, ugly. It looks like a stamp. Change. Let me also say that all baby hairs aren't babies because um, I don't have baby hair, you know, but I be <laughs> I swoop down my adult hairs. Uh, you know, someone be preteen because the hair is thin. I feel like when she got done, she said, <laughs> who, who don't have baby hair? Who don't have edges? Not me, because, <laughs> baby, I, I got edges. It's the innovation for me. I also want to know what the tattoo artist, what, what their face looked like when she said, do me some edges. Okay. And I don't know if she done this because she was tired of not having That's edges. what it looked like. I don't know if she done this because she lost a dare or a bet. I don't know. I just know she got edges now. Maybe thin edges run in the family. Maybe edges don't run in the family at all. But my good sis says the curse stops here. Now, can she pass these strong edges on to her children? Nope. Can she wash them off if she get tired of having them? Mm-mm. Can she get her money back if they're not the shape that she wants? Girl, I don't know. I don't even know who done her edges. I don't know. The point is, my good sis got edges, okay? That's all that matters. All right, guys, and as always, I want to hear from you. What is the most outlandish thing you've seen your home girl or your home guy do? You know, maybe they didn't get edges tattooed, but maybe, maybe they taped up their stomach, you know, uh, maybe to fit a dress. They just had to have some shoes, even though they were too little. Uh, so they was walking around bought up in the feet. You know, what is the most outlandish thing that you've witnessed somebody do uh, for the sake of an image? Or an what image? happens when her hair goes, goes gray? <gasps> EJ. Oh no, I didn't time. think Bye. about that. Hmm, <laughs> I didn't even think about that. All right, let's see here. I don't even feel like setting up the damn voices. Let's see what we got. Gotta send this to my mama because she already think baby hairs edges look stupid. And I know she's going to have a fit with this. The pain tolerance on this woman is incredible. Imagine if she got them removed. I must be the only black woman who never owned edge control and who doesn't worry about shaping up my edges to each its own. I know they had a field day with this. Not just you, darling. You're not alone. No, mine just natural. My edges mind their own kinky business doing whatever it is they do. And I don't feel no ways about it. As long as they remain present, I have no complaints. Oh, okay. In 2022, I'm letting people do them. If getting edges inked on fulfills her, I'm happy for her joy. It do look crazy, though. But if she happy, I'm here for it. I've seen worse shit. I, I'm not gonna make a big deal about it. I've I've seen worse shit walking around Candler Road, <laughs> which is where my salon is located. So to sit here and go up in arms over her artificial tattoo baby hairs, mm. I'm a tattoo artist, and the last shop I was in was a nice old house that had us on the main floor and a barber shop upstairs. Honestly, if she asked me, I'd have. Explained that the hairdresser was upstairs. Once she explained what she meant, I don't think I'd be very surprised other than the fact that she was getting something unique instead of one of them one of the ten tattoos that's popular that year. However, I learned how to microblade to make hairs look real, and I would either try that on her or do it with the machine and make them so much more realistic. I don't hate it though. It looks like a face tat rather than just edges, which makes her Somewhat of a baddie. This damn fruit fly is fucking with me. Um, 
From someone who's had much ink, I can't imagine how painful this must be. I've had ink on my feet, on my neck, and arms, but hell to the no to getting anything on my face or head. Not because sometimes I don't think it's something cool, it's the pain. Nope, nope, nope. I've already had a couple of pieces I wish I would have thought twice on and now stuck for life. And our girl here went full on commitment. She's a stronger woman than me. All right, moving right the fuck along. We're going to leave that where it's at. Thank you. It's going to look like she's wearing a headband when she goes gray. Ooh, what about when she puts on a wig? Like, what if what if the baby hairs peek through the, the lace front? Hold on. All right, sorry. Um, what was I doing? Yeah, that's that's right. I was doing uh, Autumn Ra's request. Here, let me see. You know what? Let's do this. Because a bitch ain't got time. I'm assuming it's this one. Alright, I think we have a hair color video next. Let me go on my history. Alright, I believe this is it. Yep, I think that's it. All right, we got Miss Toya Ray here. The fuck they doing upstairs? Atlanta Master Cosmetologist, Influencer, Entrepreneur. Thank you for 1,000 and thank you for watching. Okay. Let's see what she got going on. Y'all know hair color is not my thing. I dabble in it, but I stay in my motherfucking lane. It's funny, though, because people was trying to check me up for the hair color I did on Aaliyah, but Aaliyah's still getting compliments on her motherfucking hair color. She getting compliments on her hair color from folks that got locks all the way down to their fucking knees. That's how good her shit look. Damn, fly, leave me the fuck alone. You know, that's what I get for talking shit. All right, let's go. I like the beat. Uh oh, she got her salon. Oh no. Oh, maybe maybe I can do my own song, or maybe I should do a voiceover. Oh, yeah, definitely not going to use that. All right, let's just um take a look here. All right, so we are starting at the roots here. Not entirely sure what's happening, but I'm curious to see the end result. That hair is heat damage. It just might be. Okay. All right. We have a canvas here. This damn fucking fly. You better stay your ass over there. Don't you come over here and fuck with me no more. Hmm. Y'all still talking about the uh, tattoo edges? All right, we got the purple, we got the violet. Ooh, God, Jesus. Ooh, they over there sipping on wine, bitch. That Gallo family, that's that cheap shit. Girl, I wish I had some right about now. You know, I done gave up the wine. 
I don't know how this gonna work with the sipping sipping pain. I guess I'm gonna be sipping on some some tea or something. Oh well. All right. So far, I'm liking the color placement. I'm I'm liking the color layout here. He keeps fucking with me. You are hilarious. Am I really? Thank you. <laughs> I'm just my goofy old self. That hair is limp. Yeah, yeah. She 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 need a bottle of Olaplex instead of that Gallo family, but you know. It does look really dead. Like the colors will be pretty today, but it's gonna but it's gone tomorrow. Kind of did. Oh, I, I get what you're saying. Oh, oh. We going in with the neon. Okay, now now I'm getting a little concerned here. Um, This is... Fuck. This is going in a different direction than I anticipated, but... This, this, this might work. This might work. Maybe I just don't see the vision... Maybe I'm just not seeing it, but I, I'm I'm hoping, I'm optimistic. But I believe in you, Toya. I believe in you. Don't don't fail us. It's it's all in your head. It's all in your head. Just just bring it to life. Trust the process, child. You can't trust it with these stylus. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, all right. Um. It's, uh, it's, it's different. Look, d d she said, mer what is this, mermaid hair? Unicorn, okay, unicorn. Um, this is definitely giving me Lisa Frank. It's definitely giving me... Um, but Lisa Frank in a good way, because Lisa Frank was, was cute. I always wanted a Lisa Frank folder, but, you know, I was a boy, and, you know, boys don't get to have Lisa Frank folders, so, you know... I'm not I'm not sure how how I feel about it yet. Maybe I maybe I just need to see a style. It don't move. Uh well, you know <laughs> that's what happens when your hair ain't bitch. Sorry, he keeps fucking with me. I had the back pad that you could color in. <gasps> I love Lisa Frank and Bobby Jack. Turned out darker than I thought it would be. Well, I, I definitely commend her for, you know pushing the envelope um i i don't hate it i definitely don't hate it i'm not in love with it but all in all it's um it's just not my my cup of tea but it's 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 done well i don't think that neon green took right there but um you know Now, has anyone had hair color like this? How does this age? Because I've done this on mannequins, and that's one thing, but, like, 
So when the color fades out, like, do you go in for a new color? Do you refresh the color? How do y'all typically go about with this? Because I would imagine it doesn't last long. And then when you wash it, does the color bleed into the other colors? I wonder if that strip was intentional there. It's not vibrant. Oh, it's definitely vibrant. It's definitely vibrant. We definitely see the colors. They are there. Ain't no mistaking the, the violet, the paint. Like, it's there. It reminds me of those wild berry pop tarts. <gasps> I'm craving it so much right now. I'd say it should be brighter. Maybe it would look better. Uh, it might be the lighting, but it's it's bright. Maybe because she's indoors, but it's it's showing. The colors is there. Any brighter, and she out here looking like a clown. <laughs> it's hard to refresh the color with those parts, and it gets muddy after washing. Got a washing cold. Oh yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I kind of I kind of figured that. You know, well, I mean, it's cute curled up. It looks like a, a bouquet of, of of flowers or orchids or something. But curls is a, a great way to disguise imperfections with hair color. I'm not saying she has any because I don't see any um, in her uh, application. But that's what a lot of people will do when they do hair color. They'll just curl it and then like... You know, because it, it, it hides all the lines and demarcations and stuff. And it, it just kind of helps blend everything together, too. Yeah, it's okay. I, I like the Lisa Frank, yes. Okay. Okay, I I like I like that right there. So I think for me, I think the issue that I have with it is, I wish she would have applied the colors at more of a diagonal, maybe, and maybe that would have given more dimension to like the different levels and the different colors. Um, with the hair in its natural fall. Like, it looks great when she brushes it over to the side and side sweeps it, but nobody's going to wear their hair like that. But I think because she kind of stacked it horizontally like that, it kind of makes, like, the color blocks really heavy. And it makes it hard to, like, kind of melt it together. Does that make sense? That, see, look, Sunflower said the same thing. The colors are not fluid. It's blockish. I think that's why. I think that's it's the way she stacked it. Yeah. It's, it's kind of concealing the other colors from showing. Why is it so stiff? Because her hair is dead. <laughs> it's dead. It's dead and unhealthy. Oh, and, you know, hair color will do that, too. Uh, especially those... Uh, Fashion colors, they'll, they'll make your hair real stiff and dry. Yeah, that's the only thing. Um, I, I, I do like her color choices. It, it definitely goes together. It's just... Um, and, you know, it's a learning experience. With color, you, you kind of have to take risks. So, I, like I said, I commend her for that. Um... I just wish the colors melted into each other a little bit more. Can she stop combing it? No. They all like they always got to do it. They got to overdo it. Oh, 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 Princess put the Cynthia doll. Oh, snap. Not the Cynthia doll. <laughs> Her hair did kind of look like that before, though. 
Oh, she got her hair fixed. All right, I hope she can keep it up this time. Good for her. Girl, what you doing out here? I'm gonna give her a thumbs up. And you know what? I'm gonna subscribe. I'm gonna support. Now see if she come back. You use my video in your video. You you you. Da, 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 da. I then okay. See look. Then I gotta take it all back. I gotta take it all back. And they're trying to be nice and support and, you know, promote, but mm -mm. bitches ain't having it these days. <laughs> All right, we're going to do a uh, next uh, tip request from Laddie. And she said, can't feed in a braid. Try this crochet feed in technique, how to curl the ends of braids, Heroscope. See, you the reason... You the reason that shit kept popping up on my homepage. Because I was like, why is this popping up? I don't understand. It's like YouTube wanted me to watch this video the whole entire week. And I was like, why do you keep showing me this? Why, why, why? Look, it looks, it looks like I started to watch it, but I didn't. So you know what? Make a note of the current views and subbies. <laughs> Hair riscope. All right. Let's see what else they do. It was pushing this video on me too. Yeah, and I just refused to watch it. I was like, no, I'm, I'm not going to engage in this fuckery. Not this week, but apparently... Y'all said, nope, you're going to watch it anyway. I'm going to show you this method to do feeding braids like this without actually feeding in hair. Okay, I'll also show you how to curl the ends of braids with a local method that I use to get beautiful curls like this. Ooh, I like this beat. I want to listen to it. Damn, I got to mute it. Sucks. Gosh, YouTube, you suck the fun out of everything. All right, we're we're going to do a tiny break. Okay, hold on. Let me let me move out the way. Oh Lord, she need a good trim. That hair is eating the fuck up. It's a YouTube. Oh, it is. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Hold on. What beat is that? I want to listen to this. Oh, you right. It show is. All right, girl. Let's listen to the beat then. YouTube be having some good beats low key. You just got to look for it. Uh-uh. What the fuck is this? Bitch, I ain't signed up for this. Oh, it started off good. Mm. Wait, what? what's happening? What, what just happened? Okay. Okay, there we go. We got it back now. Mm -hmm. Hey. Child, who got time to do all this? If you gotta do all this, you just don't need to feed in. <laughs> but you know what? Low key though, it's it is kind of a good way to do feed ins without feeding in. I've done this method with just two French braids. It works wonders. 
I believe it. What type of music do you listen to? Um, I'm very eclectic. I'll listen to Hindi music, Arabic music, German rap, um, video game music, house, pop. Hey, girl. Uh, I, l- I love I love Afro Afrobeat. Afrobeat and Afro House. Um, when I go skating, that's usually what I'm listening to while I'm skating. Um, classical music, like I'm all over the place. Do you like K-pop? I do not. Mm-mm. I used to be into J-pop. I love Arabic music. I'm sure you do, Alicia. What's your look? Yeah, girl, I'm sure you do. You, we, we, mm-hmm. If you know, you know. <laughs> Who's about to take the braids out? That's so extra. Um, it shouldn't be that hard. Yeah, honestly, this is a good you know, beginner method to do it. Just make sure you can braid. But for all of that work, I would just learn how to do the damn braids. (laughs) Fabulous idea, but I'm gonna need the styles to work on the basics party. Hold on, I ain't even paying attention. Oh. Ooh, that nape is pulling. That nape is pulling. Anything but country. Hold on now. There's some good country songs out there. You can't limit yourself to music. terrible at parting myself yeah it's hard parting your own head it's it's a learned skill does she already have her baby hairstyle country and techno no I can do every other genre I don't like dubstep I don't like the constant like build up anticipation and then the the beat dropping is just it's kind of too much but then again, it's it's fitting in certain instances, but I tend to like more drum and bass versus uh dubstep. I can't I can't get with dubstep. Aaliyah likes it. Are two songs playing? <laughs> it sound like it. I live for a beat drop. Mm-mm. That gives me anxiety. I'm trying to get into metal, but it's hard to find good artists that I can vibe with. How long is this? Oh, shit. Maybe because it's sped up. Maybe if I slow it down. Nah, it's just terrible. Progressive metal? Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Try Metallica. I like, um... Who was that? Who was that, um... That group? Oh, I can't think of it. Let me go on YouTube Music. Not this sad music. Disturbed. Does Disturbed count as metal? I liked Disturbed growing up.
All right, we're gonna watch her do this one more time. Try Daisy, he sings Mother 93. System of a Down ain't metal, are they? The music is sad. <laughs> Wait, wasn't, isn't her hair stretched already? Well, maybe it wasn't stretched enough. So y'all, y'all listen to all the the old school like bands back in the day. I used to listen to all of them. I was just thinking about that. I was like, I wonder what's going on with some of these rock bands and, and groups and stuff. Cause I just kind of fell off after I got older. So. Her braid technique isn't bad. She just needs to work on not feeding in so much hair all at once. That's kind of why her braid is is feels a little more elongated. She just needs to walk the braid down versus dragging the braid back. It gets easier for her when there's more hair at the at the braid because then she can kind of just feed in as much as she wants but at the beginning if she just uses less hair and just walk the braid back it'll look more consistent yeah my braids come out like that yeah so try to control how much hair you actually feed into the braid as you braid it down Rage Against the Machine. Okay, look at y'all listening to all the... Okay, we've seen enough. We've seen enough. Who Who's out here doing this technique, though? Anybody out here? Maybe we should do a poll. No, we ain't got time for that. Thank you for that request. Bitch. No, I'm going to... Hold on. I'm going to get this fly because he mad disrespectful. All right, he running now. Every time I'm about to get his ass, he running. The parting at the back. Oh, hold up. Ah, uh, I missed it. Yeah, could be, it could be a little cleaner. She, she, she working on it. You gotta start somewhere. Damn it. Um. All right. What? What, what are we doing next? No, right, wake up. <laughs> wake up. All right, we got a uh, super chat next, right? Yes, we do. Moji, she said, whatever you want to watch. Eh. Sorry. Every time I get focused, he fucks with me. Um, let me see, did I save anything? <gasps> oh my gosh, Lorenz. I hope he's good. I, I haven't seen him in the live chat, but I did notice that he purchased a ticket for my birthday stream. So he's out here. Lorenz, if you're watching, you are missed. Son of a bitch! Sorry. We miss you. Come back to us. Oh, I'm on my watch later list. Okay, let me pull out of that. Not watch later. Did we ever do this one? I don't think we did. Hey, since we haven't watched any lock videos today, we might as well watch this one. Carrie Bellum Beauty. Okay, let me see. Carrie. All right. Um. 
you are missed and trying to kill the bug. You know what? Maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I have ADHD and I just don't know it. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's why I have problems focusing on like multiple things at once. Maybe, maybe I just never been diagnosed. You know, it's all starting to make sense. Yeah, they took me back with all these bands, too. I don't forgot about all of them. <laughs> ...wearing wigs, so I couldn't wear them for more than two. Whoa, 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 whoa. Other persons were like, why did you do them so small? And I don't like how you look with natural hair. And that's, that's their problem. That's not mine. Ooh, that makeup. Welcome back to your favorite. Can you watch copyrighted music on Crowdcast? Sure can. Place for lifestyle and inspiration. I'm Kerry. What's up? Wagwan. You're good? Good. Now, I love my Microlux, right? But there are things I wish I knew before starting them. It was a journey. Ooh, so, them shits is small. If you want to know what to expect before you start your Microlux, or you want to spend some time with me, nothing wrong with that, right? Just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing is that they would take so long to install. It took me a very long time, six weeks in fact. Now, if you're doing it by a loctician, it will take about two to three days depending on the size and length of your hair and the size that you want the locks to be. But I did mine and it took six weeks. I had to find time in between jobs, on weekends, whenever I had a spare hour, Netflix was my friend. Um, in between then, I wore wigs and I hated wearing wigs. So I couldn't wear them for more than two or three days and then it was back to me and my unfinished hair going to work. I looked crazy. But by the time I was halfway through and I wanted to, to just pull them out, I was- Is there such thing as coming out micro locks? Mm-hmm. I had a client who did it. Already on my way. So I decided to, you know, stay strong. Hers definitely wasn't this small, them. but yeah. But when I finished them, I loved it. But it took so long. If you don't have the patience, do not do these yourself. Go to a loctician and let them install it for you. The second thing was that they would try to unravel because I have fine hair. Now, my hair is very fine and it's high density, so I will have the volume. But because the, the hairs were so fine, they were unraveling at the back before I got to the top. Now, it would make sense for those with fine hair, you know, know the type of hair you have and make sure that you get the lock size that suits you. And that applies to all types of hair hair right from 3a to 4c doesn't matter know the type of hair you have know what locks would suit your hair how now, did you I start have to take some drastic measures to keep my locks from unraveling but that is for another video i promise you i'm going to let you know what i did to keep these i'm so sorry i missed your birthday shoe how can i make it up to you you already have Aww. just by being here and wishing me a happy birthday Thank locks. you. So if you want to know how I did that, just subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss an upload. The other thing I wish I knew was that they would itch so much. Now, I don't know if I'm the only one who faces this problem, but it was relentless for the first couple of days after I did the install, and it's, it does the same the first couple of days after I do a retightening. So oh if my you God. know why that happens, Yay. put it in the comments, tell me, help me out, let me know why your hair itches, because I know it's not dirty. I wash my hair before I installed, and I was washing it throughout, and then I wash my hair before Ooh, girl, I girl, you joined just in time for so the I sipping pain. It's not dirt, but there's something about the hair being tight on your scalp that makes it itch and it is oh, stressful thank you for sponsoring the channel and i don't know if y'all realize this but i think channel members get like a free super chat situation let me look into this let me see eat after each month of a member's membership they earned a highlighted message which they can send on live chat during one of your live streams in that month. Yeah, so you kind of get like a free super chat situation. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so the next thing I wish I knew was that I would have hand in hair syndrome. Now, my hands are in my hair constantly. Even now, after seven months, I have to remind myself not to put my hands in my hair. Um, based on some research that I did, they said um, to try as much to keep your hands out of your hair. Um, 
because it would damage your locks or prevent them from maturing in the way that they should so i'm trying to keep my hands out of my hair mm. so if you have any tips tricks or anything like that shout out to, to help me to keep my hands out of my hair or if you're going through the same thing misery loves company tell me in the comments oh okay now it's make it works <laughs> free now, super chats for the I win <laughs> My hair would constantly draw comments. Okay, yeah, I didn't I didn't know that was a thing either. I just noticed that. Hey. Yes, we do earn a free super chat. Show do. That'll do. That'll do. <laughs> no, these comments ranged from the negative to the to extremely positive. Um I want to ex I want to address hell? the negatives before I move on to the positives. Uh, <laughs> why did you do them so No, you're just small? popping up. And I don't like how you look with that's natural funny. hair. And that's a thing. That has been a thing from the second I started going natural. There were persons who did not like my natural hair. But I'm not going to take that personally. Some persons are just not used to you changing your look. And that's, that's their problem. That's not mine. So... I rolled with the punches and there were a lot of persons who loved my hair. I got really great comments from persons on the street. Um, but a lot of persons, their main concern was, how long did that take? And you're not going to pull that out. So <laughs> I decided like, if I'm ever going to cut my micro locks, I'm, well, if I'm ever going to not have micro locks anymore, I'm going to cut them. Just going to cut them off. I'm not going to try to unravel them because that would take too much time. I'm just going to zoop with a share and blonde it and I'm never gonna grow my hair back again because I've tried it and I'm I, I, this is my last ditch hope to keep some hair on my head because I've been cutting Add my hair to the Patreon. Like every Hold year on, what am I adding? So for the past 10 years so hopefully this is, is that an Apple here. watch oh no 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 it's a smart watch I got to help me so stay motivated with uh, working out in my micro locks was that they it's would a, so a maze fit no i'm going to refer to my notes at this point because i have a lot of notes on this um, it says i, I did four thousand steps I but a lot of time i did more than that tightenings to repair locks because they would try to unravel on their own and i had to make sure oh, that i kept them up okay. and that added a lot of time to the retightening process okay the next thing is that because i have smaller locks it meant that my retightening window was shorter um Usually, persons with larger locks can probably go up to six to eight weeks or so on, but I have to retighten mine every four to five weeks because I don't want the roots to get weak. Um, I want them to stay a uniformed length, so I retighten every four to five weeks. The other thing is that retightening, because I did them myself, took a long time. It took a whole weekend. So what I did, I just got some series to watch on Netflix, sit back and just watch them for the whole weekend. Didn't plan anything else for that weekend and I just retightened and I know that that weekend is blocked out. I even set it in my calendar so that I don't forget. Not Narada got an Android. Nothing else, <sighs> just to hear. Because I don't want to have to do them over a period of a week. Um, I just want to set out that block of time and get them done. Dang. Okay. I, st I still low-key feel like when you make them this small like this, you you kind of enslave yourself to your hair. I just feel like... I mean, but maybe people don't mind investing that amount of time. Like, for me, it's like, I'm a hairstylist, so I do that every day. But, like, I guess I wouldn't want to have to set aside a whole weekend just to, like, do my hair, you know? Like, so this is not necessarily something that I wish I knew before I did my micro locks, but... It's something that you should know, right? It is that I don't have to worry about styling. I get up and go in the morning. I don't have to do my edges if I don't want to. I don't have, I don't have to put it in a style if I don't want to. It is already a style. So the freedom, daily freedom, it is great. Um, no, I usually get ready before in about an hour because I usually did a wash and go every single day. I didn't have long. Oh, well, I'm about to buy me a new phone. Every day. And Which one should I get? get ready. But no, I, I like my note, my note minutes, 10, but maybe I need to upgrade door. it to so like another note. So, what are some things that you wish you knew before you started your micro locks? Let me know in the comments. Next week's video oh, is going to be a good one. All so right, let's sure read this comments. That's what I really want to see. Okay, let's see up in here. I believe the itchy scalp issues are res the result of your scalp being exposed to the air, causing it to dry out faster, resulting in an itchy scalp, similar to when getting single braids. I think possibly, but I think it could also just be the level of, of 
tension of your hair being pulled in different directions so much. And that happens when you get braids too. Um, I think that's that's a thing. I'm almost five months into the journey. Your locks look good and have grown a lot. Some of the comments I've gotten whether include whether I've applied something to my hair to make it curly after a wash and go. Others who are used to seeing traditional locks are like, those are not locks. They are too small. The fuck? And then others are like, you have never undid them. I am usually like, was I supposed to? During the first weeks, one even stated she hated my hair. Hold on. One even stated she hated my hair. I was like, cool, it's not your head. People need to stop being bothered by stuff that don't grow out of their scalp. Yeah, that's kind of... Uh, let me see. Just started today. Okay. Just started my micro lock journey today. I can't believe how beautiful they came out. I had a loctician do my locks. I was charged 150 for my starter locks and it will be 85 for retwist for micro locks. Child, where is you going? After all my search, I finally found the right person. Locks are all they do. I watch other women get their retwist, gorgeous hairstyles, blah, blah, blah. Your locks are beautiful. I'm four months into my journey, and I love it. I have a dense head of hair, so the fact that I don't have to detangle before and after washing is a game changer. The retightening process is long, but it's a trade-off for detangling hair and styling it every day. I guess. I'm glad y'all love it. All right, next. 150. I ain't never heard micro locks that cheap. Child, they ain't getting no micro locks for no 150. Or maybe they did. Shh. They gonna up their price real quick. Trust me. They gonna be like, does that include the style? <laughs> um, okay, I need to take another quick bathroom break and then we'll be back with more videos. Let me see how many we have left before I go. Just to give us a idea here. Um, we have I ate your sandwiches, crazy natural princess. Oh, girl, you was cheating. You got two requests. In. It's cool. Trees, uh, Loxena, Jermaine, Nick Nack. That's six. Simply clever, and I think that's it. Ronnie Carr, did you have another request you wanted us to watch? Since you wanted us to watch uh, photogenic. So what is that, like six, seven, something like that. All right, anyways, I'll be right back. Y'all sit tight. Make sure you hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. And uh, stay tuned for a message from today's sponsors. I, I said s stay tuned for, for, for a message from today's sponsor. Are you tired of your hands and nails looking like this? Well, so is your man, your friends, and them bitches at your job. You know them hoes stay talking about how dusty your hands look. So why not show them some love with Loved by Verdi? The Loved by Verdi cuticle oil is just what you need to get those hands soft and supple and those nails long and strong. This light non-greasy formula easily absorbs into the skin and is formulated with amazing ingredients, including jojoba, almond, and vitamin E oil, which are packed full of antioxidants that help to promote cellular regeneration. Benefits of using the Love by Verde cuticle oil include promoting faster, stronger nail growth, healing dry, damaged skin, and preventing your nails from drying out, helping your manicure last longer. To use the cuticle oil, simply apply a drop directly to cuticles, then gently rub and massage them into the cuticle, nails, and work the excess into your hands. 
for best results, apply the cuticle oil before bedtime and leave it on overnight so it can fully absorb into the cuticles. Love by Verde cuticle oil is not only for women, but men can use it too. I personally love to use it to moisturize my bald head after a fresh shave. After I apply my aftershave, I like to use about six drops of the oil and massage it into my scalp. This oil can also be used as a lubricant and protectant to help keep your man's beard soft, shiny, and moisturized. Just apply the oil to the beard after gently misting the hair with some water or leave-in spray and watch it make his beard sexy. And don't worry fellas, Love by Verde Cuticle Oils comes in a variety of scents including unscented, so you ain't out here smelling all sweet like her vanilla sugar scent or strawberry scent which are my personal favorites. Now, don't you think it's time to show your hands some love? Click the link in the description and get 0% off your next order. Visit lovebyverdi.com and grab your cuticle oil and other nail and nail art essentials today. This product is an unpaid advertisement and features unpaid actors. This cuticle oil is not a treatment for hand eczema or any other skin related diseases. All right, welcome back. Sorry about that, y'all. I'm not supposed to be fasting. I can't do it tonight. The steamed vegetables was cute. The little, um, the little uh, split pea soup was cute. But bitch, I'm hungry. So I'm just gonna get a couple spoonfuls of some uh, peanut butter here to hold me down tonight. Shit. I'll get back on track tomorrow. All right. I was just about to say, hold up. <laughs> no. <laughs> Too late. Shit, fuck it. It's just some peanut butter. It ain't that bad, right? If I can't eat bacon, you can't eat that. Mm. Okay. Okay. Hold on, where that sound bad at? Okay. Okay, so next we got. Mm, who's next? I uh, ate your sandwiches. Jamie Joe, do's and dose of styling curly hair. Let's see here. You know, you always be having these videos of these uh, interesting folks. Uh, the, the, what is it, the curly hair? Mm, I'm a, yeah, all right, I'm going to be quiet. Let's, we're all, we, we are, we're here for diversity. We're here for inclusion here in the Afro tribe. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, who, said that? who said that? Who said that? Let's check it out. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel or welcome back. I'm Jamie Joe and today we've got a super requested video that I've been really excited to film. It's actually taken me almost all day to film this video. So if you couldn't tell from the title, I'm gonna be showing you guys the do's and the don'ts of styling curly hair. I have been natural for pretty much I'd say maybe four years now. I absolutely love curls. I'm not an expert, but I will say I'm definitely a curl enthusiast. Today I'm just going to be giving you all my favorite tips that work best for my hair. I've got type 3 hair, 3A to 3B. So these tips will most likely work for type 3 hair. I'm not very experienced with type 2 or type 4 hair. I'm not exactly sure if these tips will work for you if you've got that hair type. It definitely will work if you have a type 3 hair. I really wanted to film this video for all of you guys who struggle with the end product of your hair. You may be using the perfect products for your hair type, but you may not be applying them correctly, which really affects the overall look of your curls. I know how frustrating it is to spend lots of money on products and lots of time on your hair and then for it to end up looking pooey. So I hope these tips today really help you out. They're definitely going to make your curls flourish and feel amazing. I hope these tips work for you as well as they do work for me. So let me know if they do in the comment section below. And I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for some amazing results and some pretty funny don'ts as well. I actually had 
heart failures filming some of these goats because they just completely go against everything I've been doing for my hair for the last few years. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys struggle with flat hair and you also have issues with volume at the roots. So this video is specifically targeted towards keeping that volume in the roots while still having definition in your curls. So let's hop straight into the video. Let's start with the first major don't. Stop throwing away your shampoo. You really need to be cleansing your hair and your scalp at least once a week. I suggest you one more good spoonful. Function of beauty. I've got a twenty percent off link in the description mm. box. Then I like to use a sea salt scrub from Christoph Robin as well. This really cleanses my scalp. It gets rid of itchiness, dryness, and any dandruff. If you skip cleanser, your head is going to be so oily, and therefore your curls will have no volume. Okay, your next major don't is wearing a towel after you wash your hair for ages. If you leave your hair in a towel, it's gonna get frizzy and dry. Like, sis, what are you doing? You can use a t-shirt, but I highly suggest ditching cotton towels. So you should never be styling your hair on dry curls. And, and also, a massive don't is brushing out dry curls. Peanut butter has a lot of calories. Uh-uh. Um, it says now, now this is giving me two tablespoons, now, 190. Then once you take it out of your hair, right, I'm done. I'm done. Moisture, mm. And this is going to make mm. your styling process a lot easier. Mm. Now you can brush your hair. Because it's still mm. damp, this isn't going to create any frizz. And it's actually beneficial because it's going to get the knocks out, making applying mm. product a lot smoother. Mm. Your brush will do, but we all know I love the denim. Moving on to your next major don't, soaking your hair. When you oversaturate your hair with water, product is going to sit on top God, of your hair. God, it's so and it's fucking to good. To mm. Instead, you want to add a little bit more water to your hair to make sure it is damp, but you don't want to see beads of water drooping off your hair. Also, you want to listen out for this particular sound. Yep, you hear that? Okay, also don't forget to wet the back of your crown. People forget this. And oh, I thought she was louder than that. So, two major don'ts is styling on soaking wet hair and very dry hair, as I stated before. Now we're going to apply product the wrong way. Stop using thick, heavy creams and applying them at the root of your hair. Some people think the more products you apply, the less frizzy your hair will be. But this is going to make your hair so oily. You're going to have absolutely no volume on the roots. And also, it's going to take forever to dry. This is the biggest no-no ever. Now, on the other hand, when you apply product to dry hair, it doesn't matter how much you apply, your hair is still going to stay fuzzy because your hair is dry and the cuticles aren't able to soak in the product. Look how oily my hair looks and then look how dry it looks. So I use mousse for hold, but this is the wrong way to use mousse. Stop using a bucket load because this is just going to make your hair even oilier. You can see in my face the distress as I'm applying this. Also, you do not want to pull mousse throughout your hair and drag out your curls. This is going to completely ruin your curl pattern. Okay, now for the do. Wow, it must really suck to have to worry about all of this. <laughs> small, not using too much, and I'm going to apply it from the mid length of my hair down. This way, my scalp isn't getting saturated with product, making it oily, and that causes no volume. This is just a better way of applying the product, and make sure you really get those ends so you are really helping any split ends and any dryness. Said it before, I'm going to say it again. Stop neglecting the crown of your head. I like to make sure I'm really applying enough product throughout that area to make sure it gets volume and the love it needs. This is a major don't when it comes to using the Denman brush. Stop pulling it against your scalp and dragging your curls downwards. This is not going to create a good curl pattern and it's also going to stop any volume from forming on the roots of your head. Now, I used to do this when I was a bit younger and I was just starting out with the Denman brush, but ever since I've learned a new technique that allows me to have more volume, I'll show you that soon. Now look how oversaturated my hair is. This is not what you want, guys. Then on the other side, it is so dry that when I brush through with the Denman brush, all my curls completely disappear. Now, instead, you do want to use the Denman brush, but you want to use it before you apply the mousse. Make sure you are separating your hair to make it easier, and with the bottom half, you need to pull the Denman brush and your hair away from your head. This is going to create a lot more volume at the roots as it gets your curls off That's your true. Scalp. Moving on to the top layer of your hair, you want to pull this up and away from your head. This is also going to create volume, as I said before, and get those curls off the scalp. And it's a really, really great way to refine <laughs> your curls and keep them looking super bouncy. Don't forget about the crown. You want to go in with your mousse. This is the perfect time to, right after you use your Denim brush. I love the John Frieda mousse. I use it all the time. And I like to that start lipstick is cute on into her. my curls. This is going to emphasize my curl pattern, make them super bouncy, and it's going to evenly distribute the product. And by not dragging this through my hair, it's actually going to aid in a volume as well. Looking shiny. This is what we want. Now, the next thing you really don't want to be doing is going in with a diffuser on a high heat and a high wind speed and directly starting to cup and touch and play with your hair. This is the ultimate way to create 
fuzz and it's going to ruin the natural texture and curl pattern that you have. Another big don't with a diffuser is like holding it against your head for a long period of time whilst cupping your curls. This is going to create heat damage and also um, unevenly dried curls. Instead what you want to do is wait about 10 minutes after styling your hair to diffuse, stay hydrated and then with your diffuser after 10 minutes put it on low wind speed and low heat and start by dragging the diffuser around your head. Don't directly touch your curls but focus on the roots because these take a lot longer to dry than your ends and if you blast too much air on your ends they are going to get dry and fuzzy. So this is the best way. I've got a full video on diffusing if you want something a little bit more in depth. I'll link it below. Now do not do this when your hair starts to get more dry. Do not stretch out your curls and diffuse them like this. Just I don't even know what I'm doing here. Don't do it. Also, do not pull apart your hair and like ruin it with your fingers whilst you are diffusing. I used to do this and it would just create so much fuzz. Now, when your hair starts to get a little bit more dry, what you do want to do is lightly shake the diffuser around. This is just going to separate the curls a little bit. Now, moving back to some absolute don'ts, do not shake out slightly damp hair. This is going to completely ruin any curl pattern you have. Also, it's going to create so much fun and you're going to have no definition at all. Oh my God. Yeah, that was the dry side. Now, this is the very oily wet side. I could hardly. I even thought I used lots of products. The three so C queens that are means struggling. I get no volume at all, and my hair just looks wet, even though it wasn't. Now, what you want to do when your hair dries is lightly separate any curls that have clumped together. I've got a lot of big clumpy curls, as you can see. They're so fun to play with, but I like to separate them very carefully to make sure I'm not getting any fuzz. But this way, it's just going to make your hair look a lot fuller and more voluminous. Girl, there's fuzz Next, everywhere. Them, what you do want to do is lightly shake out your hair by putting your hands underneath the tops of your head on your scalp and giving them a very light shake. This will separate your curls. This will get your curls off your scalp and it's going to create a nice amount of volume without ruining the definition. If you use a good enough mousse, you definitely have a little bit of leeway to play with your curls and shape them into the way you want. So these are my last don'ts. Do not play with and put your hair up in tight buns and ponytails on the first day. This is going to ruin your curl pattern and also never ever brush out dry curls. Well in this case, they're just so saturated with products but you're going to completely ruin any curl pattern and your hair's going to be so fuzzy so never take a brush to dry hair. This is the finished result. I'm so, so happy with how it looks. My curls are bouncy, separated, voluminous, and also super well-defined. So this is what you do want to do to achieve these results. All right, and we're done. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I definitely put a lot of effort in to show you the don'ts and the do's for curly hair. Now, I know the don'ts are slightly exaggerated, but I know a lot of people who do and have in the past actually applied products this way or styled their hair these ways. And these do- This makes me want to play the curly girl struggle. <laughs> I think their hair would be too flat with a hooded dryer. Mm, yeah, probably flat and frizzy. Play it, please. I should have played it the whole time she was talking. I should have played it. It would have been perfect. But it's fine. Play it at the end and soothe them. It's cool. I was, going, I was trying to make a song about Chablis yesterday but i couldn't get my lyrics together so i said fuck it i ain't giving her that much of my time moving the hook on all right next we got crazy natural princess miss lauren lee 11 i straighten my type 4 hair with an electric hot comb featuring tervix hot comb thank you thank you let's see Miss Lauren Lee. Whoop. Clicked the wrong thing. Hold on, I got you, Lauren. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Miss Lauren Lee 11, and I'm going to ask the question. Hopefully, I'm going to provide the answer as to whether you can hot comb your natural type 4 hair with an electric hot comb. There you go. I'm doing it on freshly washed hair. And the reason why I've come to you freshly washed hair is because I want you to see that I'm doing it on freshly washed hair. I'm not going to be using any hair grease today. I know hair grease is um, something I tend to use quite a lot, especially when I'm straightening my hair actually, guys. And the specific one that I use is this one. It's the Dax Pressing Oil, which contains castor oil and coconut oil. However, today, guys, I just want to do my hair without any hair grease. And the products that I have actually used today, for my deep conditioning, I use the Vatika Black Seed Oil Deep Conditioner. I feel that when you're about to put heat on your hair or straighten your hair, what have you, you need to deep condition it. 
keep that extra moisture in. <laughs> then for my leave-in, I used the Cantu Avocado Hydrating Repair Leave-In. I don't usually use leave-ins, to be honest, guys, but this time I'm going to use it again for extra added moisture. For my heat protectant, I'm going to be using the Dr. Miracles Akai Okay, okay, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Thermal protection styler. So right now, all I've got in my hair is the leave-in, the Cantu leave-in, and I'm gonna be using the heat protectant now. So what I'm gonna do, go and blow dry my hair, and I will come back to you guys, and then we're gonna get to the good stuff. We're gonna get to the electric hot comb, okay? So keep watching. Okay guys, so I'm back. My hair is fully blow dried as you can see. I do believe this is actually the first time I've straightened my hair since cutting it and keeping it in a protective style. So, without further ado, let me show you the product. So it's a Turbix electric hot comb. Now I have never used an electric hot comb. And in fact, I've never used a hot comb by myself. My hair has always been hot combed on the stove by my mom. So if you're one of those ones who remember that, having your hair hot combed, having it sizzling, having the newspaper dampen down the heat. Yeah, that was me. So guys, I'm very honest. I got a bit excited when it arrived last night via Amazon. However, I had a bit of a mishap. What happened? So as you can see, this is a heat guide and it slots on. Well, it wasn't that easy for me last night. As you can see, there is a tooth missing, but hey ho, we move on. It was a bit difficult to put on guys, but as I'm showing this video, I'm sure it's gonna be so simple and it's gonna look like I was lying. <laughs> so guys, you get operation manual with it and it tells you the heat settings and how to use it. I will be leaving the link to the website down below in my description box so you can click on it, have a look. Let me tell you, I've been waiting to try an electric hot comb. So as you can see, the cable is uh, tied up with a nice little Velcro strap here. What I also like is it has this heat rest so you can rest it like so so you don't damage any furniture. Okay, so once I plug it in, I will show you the heat settings properly. The highest heat setting is- That's not how here. you rest it. It actually states it in the pamphlet. I'm going to go ahead, plug it in. What I noticed last night is once I plug it in, the light will be flashing. And then once it's heated up to the correct temperature, the light will be stable. I'm gonna press the bottom button, which is the- Are you switch. supposed to use this yeah, much yeah, product to straight in? You do when you use in a high comb. Two seconds, but you can see that light's now flashing. You can see that. So I'm gonna turn up to 180 to start with. Yep. Once it's heated up to the appropriate temperature, then I will start doing my hair. Whilst it's heating up, I'm gonna quickly put this on. I should have done this beforehand, but you know. So as you can see, it's not the easiest. Let me put, see? <laughs> there you go. So once it's on, basically guys, for these little close to the skin type of areas, you've got the nape of your neck, you've got the edges, even guys, guys, I'm saying guys, you can try this for your beards. There you go, it's heated up nicely. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with this piece here, just to see how well I can do this piece. Uh. Oh, look at that. See that's been straightened? So I know I've gone over that bit quite a few times, guys, but to be honest, these sideburns are the parts of my hair that I usually cut off. <laughs> and they grow back really quick. I usually start with the back of my hair, but I'm actually gonna go with the front today, just to show you, and then I'm gonna do the rest of camera and come back to you so you can see the comparison, okay? I may need a higher temperature, actually. I'm gonna turn it up to, so I've turned it up now to 200. So I'm going to go slowly over. That's better, I think. Yeah, so 200, guys. If you have a similar type hair to mine, which what is, is that like? A, I think 400. For you. 400 and like 30? Because it's got that guide all the way around as well. You can twirl it in your hair like so. The whole thing is looking up to everything that I hoped it would be. This guide is amazing, by the way, guys. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the rest of camera. The roots, come back to you, right? Okay? The so roots. I'm back. Right, okay. So Wait, the question of this video is Can I straighten my type 4 hair with an electric hot comb? Oh, I'll tell you the answer in a minute, guys, just after I say this. So, guys, if you are enjoying this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, 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 uh. Video. But as I said, my main point is the fact that this snapped off, I should say. So, basically, this part initially wasn't easy to put on. And if I'm correct in saying, just quickly skimming over this, it doesn't necessarily say how to put this part on. Used for the product are actually amazing. It's so nice to hold. As you can see, it's got a nice slender shape. So, it goes in. So, it, you know, you've got a good grip. And even this part, guys, it's not loose. It doesn't feel flimsy. So I'm really impressed with that, actually. I was able to do these parts of my hair. Right. I was able to do the edges of my hair just like it this. It didn't even last. Top. And I did end up using the 210 degrees Celsius, which is actually the highest for my hair. And as you can see, my hair is still not sleek and flat. And actually... I'm sorry, sleek, flat. Ooh, it's it's the lie. Lie. 
Try it. Try it. There you go. Try it. Me full of bullshit. Excuse me, bitch. Shit. I feel like there's a '90s type of volumesque type of feel. So my hair feels floaty, but then again, guys, that could be due to the fact. I didn't use hair grease. As I said, I used to straighten my hair with hair grease, but I just wanted to see what this was like without hair grease. Also, guys, I was gonna say, if you do want me to do a review with this using hair grease, then go down to the comment section and just leave the word hair grease. Once you've typed the word hair grease, I want you to press a like. Okay, so give me that like and give me that hair grease. I will definitely do the review with the hair grease. I'm gonna do it anyway, but it's up to you guys whether you want me to film it on camera. But as you can see, my hair is light and flowy. Bruh. But one thing I absolutely <laughs> recommend this product for, guys, is the roots. Now, minus my greys, just have a look at the roots. Just have a look at the roots. I managed to do the back quite nicely. As you can see the side, my sideburns as well. It did actually take such a long time as straightening my hair with the hair straighteners because I could do my hair in thicker sections. Um, I did start off doing smaller sections and my hair wasn't super straight as you would with the straighteners because with the straighteners, you're clamping the hair down between two hot presses, if you know how straighteners work. However, this is great because you don't then need a comb to chase it. You've got the comb already. The only thing is you need to hold your hair taut. However, with hot combs, which I, already knew you're not going to get ends super super straight because once you start to get to the end you kind of loosen your grip because obviously you don't want to get burnt so then you kind of let go and it just does its own things anyway guys that is it for this video hope you enjoyed it as i said if you want to see the hair grease review with this shit me i know people that can get a hot comb in there and get that shit from root to tip bone straight it's all in the wrist it's, it's all in the wrist but yeah these these new high comb mm -mm. Child, you gotta you gotta get you the kind that sit on the stove. This ain't it, baby. This ain't it. She tried it though. It just didn't work out. Oh, maybe we should have watched him. Let me see. Um who knows? No, his his voice puts me to sleep. I'm sorry. Oh hold on, I do get a choice. Okay, well look, we'll watch him. We'll watch him later. That way I don't forget. Oh, God, this AC is blowing and I'm freezing. All right, next we have Treese. She said, can we watch any video of Natalie Love? Let me see. I noticed Natalie, like, after we watched that one video, I just kept seeing a bunch of videos of her watching cars and shit. Uh oh. Hold on, she had her birthday? She out here putting out content, baby. She said, <laughs> You will watch these videos. She posts every day multiple times. I ain't mad at it. Uh. Okay, let's try this one. It doesn't look like car accident, so we won't traumatize anyone. Let me see. Her wig reviews are funny. She got wig reviews? What is going on here? <gasps> what is up, y'all? And welcome back. Welcome back to another reaction video. Okay, should I go on the other screen? Let me do that. That way we can be side by side. Girl, what is happening here? And welcome or welcome back to another reaction video. I'm your host of the most, Natalie Love, here to provide you comedic commentary for these reaction videos. Now, now that is going to lead me into the housekeeping rules. A, I did say this is a reaction video, which means I'm going to react. My reactions are not silent, okay? I'm not like a reactor that don't say nothing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, I don't do those kind of reactions. I'm a chatty Cathy. I talk. I do frequent pauses during the video, okay? That's rule number one. Rule number two, I curse, I cuss, I do all the things, all right? I'm a little bit too grown for a PG-13 mouth. Yo bad, not mine. If it moves you to words and you want to tell me everything, 
everything about what I shouldn't be doing on my monthly budget channel that you choosing to watch, free of will, no guns to head here, then we can go ahead and have you just exit stage left because I'm not in the mood to go through and have to just block and hide the fucking time in any way. Because I don't leave them up for what? I don't thrive off the haters, all right? So I get rid of them. Fuck. Hold on, okay. check me, man. Anyway, <laughs> now that we got that part out of the way and you still here under the sound of my voice, that means that you are A-OK -okay with everything that I have said and we got that part out of the goddamn way and I want to welcome you to the love family. Now, since you're OK with what I said, make sure you like. Why? Because it helps us grow. Make sure you comment just to let the love family know that you have subscribed, OK? And along with your subscription, if you want to check out some merch, head on to thenatalielove.com and look at these shirts. What the fuck is up, love family? As y'all already know, this is your girl, Natalie Love. And yes, I've been gone that for a minute, but bitch, I'm girl. back Not only that, bitch, I'm back with motherfucking merch, okay? Y'all love Teeny so much, I got her on the shirt. Y'all love being from the New Revival Tree of Life Institutional Double Rock on the side of the road, Missionary Baptist Church what? of Mount Calvary. Bitch, I got a shirt for that. Good night, Lord, Aline. allowed cousin. Wow. I'm about okay, to go to bed, too. But I got Shoot. shirts. Y'all make sure to get off your ass. Or stay on your ass. Just stay on your phone. And go to that website and look up some shit about me and get a shirt. All right, so like I said, if you need something to go along with your subscription, just head over to thenatalielove.com and purchase your shirt, okay? So like you heard me say in the beginning, because if you don't want to kick it with your virtual homegirl and your virtual partners, if you're not trying to hang out with us and get this committee commentary, that's cool. If you're a little bit basic, you're a little bit boring, and you like to sit and watch your TV show by yourself and cry, I, I have that time, too, where I'll be basic and boring, too, and I don't feel like talking okay, to y'all. Okay, so see, that's on me, though. But when I'm in the mood to be your virtual homegirl, your virtual partner, and be there for you, I go ahead on and make these videos, okay? So like I said, these are total idiots at work if you need to see it by yourself. Okay. Good night, know Gina. Oh, let me make sure we are recording. Bow. And that's it. All right. Here we go. You put your hands in the hot grease with the rubber glove on, huh? Sometimes the brain... Wait a minute. Uh-uh. That's music. No, Lord. Sometimes the brain just shuts off on some ends. It do. It, do it does. I oh, don't know what that's... you dropped your phone. What? Because that's what you should be doing at work. Where are you headed? Dress like that. I don't want him making my damn donuts dressed like somebody from the Degrassi. Wait, what's happening? Oh, sir, no, sir, get out. Sir. Abort oh, mission. no. Abort. It's gone. No. It's gone. The canal got it. No. The canal got it. Yeah, let the canal have it. The fact that the tires are still moving is what's crazy. That car committed suicide. <laughs> it is. It is. Down there and at least turn it off. What is now, that? how are you going to explain that to your employer? Because there's no way to even save that. It is completely submerged under the water. So it's gone for real. Okay, so this is just going to be one I'm going to talk through there. Oh, the cement done already dried up? Uh. Yeah, the cement done already dried up, big baby. You took way too long to get to the spot. Oh! Oh! Wow, that's upsetting. That is upsetting. That's a whole day's work on the damn ground. What happened? Where everybody at? What, Sir, watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! No! 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 Oh no! No! They're gonna drug test you for that. So you don't want to. They move. put cement in rotating containers where we. Oh shit! Oh, he ain't the one in danger. Go ahead and fall through the hole, fool. Is that how they? Oh Woo! shit! What the fuck? That was close. He's not worried. Oh, okay. Everybody's real comfortable here. Ain't no way. People watch this shit. What is this? I like to drive behind that. What y'all picking up? <gasps> ah, nothing. Okay, y'all trying to turn the truck back over and then the cord snapped, the pulley. So you don't want to move? You ain't got no hard hat on? Where your hard hat at? It's, it's there. I feel like that, that thing finna swing into him. Oh, you know what? That would be here. terrible. Spill all the rocks. What yep. the Ooh. what the fuck just happened? Any skin he do got left on his knee was well. Uh. <laughs> Any skin he got left on his knee. What just happened? Oh, okay, so this is gonna be one they just gonna play music through. I hope I ain't got to hear nothing. So what is what's everybody doing? Okay, you carrying lumber? Oh, is that that cement? Okay, got your little cement. Okay, I'm waiting to see an explosion of something. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Josh, you left the back door. <laughs> right, get the, the, get the fuck out. Thanks, Josh. Get the fuck out. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, right. Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Damn it. Ammo. Damn it. Ammo. Damn it. 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 Damn it.
Oh, shit. Just do it. If just do it was a vehicle, it would be that one. I don't really like this structure. So, I don't like oh, that's not, oh, that's not good. Yeah, that was bound to happen. My heart goes out to, to forklift drivers because. Oh, oh, it's just. Uh, Y'all have the Damn! Game, so oh, this makes me want to play Farming Simulator. It'd it just be unfortunate for no reason. Now, it's the salvage yard already. Wait, so, no, 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 no. Oh, you I'm coming, fucking dumbass. Oh, and you're man, still you're going. Right you're still going. Because, you know, dudes play too much. It's already a wrecking yard. Pick it up and do it again. Uh, uh What's happening that here? That dug into the sand. Savage X Fenty. I'm gonna have to go back up in there, child. Savage X Fenty got some nice shit. Girl, you don't get your YouTube premium and quit playing. Let's see if we got music still. Yep. How? How did you dig in like that? You didn't realize that was happening or did it happen too quick to, to fix? I didn't know this was amateur hour. What's the problem? Uh yeah, the wrong tires are moving, sir, not the ones you're looking at. What is that? Go game. I feel like you're finna break it. What is he doing? Is that somebody's bathtub? What is he doing? Sir, you're not doing anything. What is he There's doing? <laughs> I'm sick of him. Big tall goofy ass. Get the fuck out he the way. No! Like oh my god, really? <laughs> he literally ran around. <laughs> Girl, he ran around what is what nothing. the fuck was he doing? <laughs> not a damn thing. <laughs> See, that's not my ministry. We already up too high. And they want us to get on ladders and go up higher. No, Lord. No, Lord. Please tell me everybody ladder sturdy. Please tell oh, me Oh, that's a that's a big drop, though. Nope. Oh, they on the outside. <gasps> they on the outside. Oh, no, no, no. Who's going to take the beams off No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, we good. Uh-oh, you man in What's the, back. What are you doing? You what are you doing? Get get it together. Get it together. Get your man. Get it together. Get your man. What is he back. doing? Your man. Sir, we had a plan. Your man's in the you're, back. You're not. Okay. A truck carrying a truck. It's amazing what fascinates people. A truck carrying a truck. 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 I like to see uh, ambulances getting towed because I just assume don't none ever be. Wow. What the fuck? Um, I'm not Wait sure what we were watching. Wait a minute. Did the... Oh, it's sliding mud. It slid. <laughs> How unfortunate. Imagine you back there having a barbecue. All you wanted was some goddamn real. Truck, you don't realize what you're doing? Truck. Oh, oh that's oh, it. That's it. Oh, uh, just missed the people. Get on up out of there. Just drive away. Drive off person. Go ahead. You fired. Take the drug back. Was that his? Yeah. How does that happen? You literally have this truck in the middle of tra <laughs> The way he slowly sauntered out, he'd know there's a drug test coming. What is he, he doing? Immediately. Why is this asshole taking the bricks from behind him? <laughs> Don't nobody gonna be out here in this heat, and you playing. Ooh! Oh no! Ooh! Oh no! Oh, oh no! my gosh! Gary, put the truck in park. He got the light in his face. <laughs> you fucking dumbass. That's how me and Mike be are operating. Mike, hold the light right here for me. Aaliyah, Aaliyah, I don't need him to. Aaliyah, I don't give a damn. Shit, this is me and Truck Simulator, bitch. Light right here. If this is not me and Truck Simulator, I feel like the yellow car is gonna be plunging. Is that a word? Is this this is jackknifing, right? This is how you jackknife. Is this training? Cut your wheel. Oh, okay, amen. Jesus loves us. And, and this I know. Ooh. Why am I saying Aaliyah like Aaliyah still works for Amazon? I'm sorry. I just uh, For me, Aaliyah will always be at Amazon because now I can't. She, what's jackknife? Um, so, yes, that's jackknifing. Okay, so let's. One of the most common types of truck accidents involves a vehicle that jackknifes. 
Jackknifing is the term used to describe when the trailer of a large semi truck or big rig pushes the front towing vehicle to one side. Um, is there pictures? I thought it was just when you cut against the trailer like real sharp. That's what I thought it was, but I don't know what the fuck this shit is. What the fuck happened here? A tractor jack knife happens in one of two ways. It can happen if you hit the throttle and the drive tires break loose, or if you hit the brakes and the drive tires lock up. Oh the shit! In sideways. Oh the shit! The, the tractor driving itself. This type of jackknife is extremely dangerous, and unlike a trailer jackknife, is almost impossible to recover from once it begins. Oh, the tractor, the, the the trailer, the trailer driving itself. Oh shit! <laughs> the fuck? Um. Uh, yeah. So definitely don't do that. If you see a truck doing that, drive in the opposite direction. It's time to go, bitch. It's time to go. All right. <clears throat> Next we have Loxena. I feel like I'm saying your name wrong. It reminds me of Noxema. Um, Janae Kirsten Nair on Scalp. That just doesn't seem... Okay. Listen, I okay. I don't know why you want to put that stinky ass shit on your head, but uh, girl, you have fun with that. Hey guys, it's Janai. So obviously, Janai, sorry, Janai. I'm gonna be putting That's pretty. some hair removal cream all over my whole head. It's not Nair. This one is by the brand Glee. And you're only supposed to leave this on for up to seven minutes. So I'm gonna try and apply it as fast as I can. I made some tutorials using this cream before. One was about removing underarm hair without shaving, and the other one was how to groom your eyebrows with it, which you'll actually see me do in this video. They have two different formulas, one for body and one for face, so I use the one for body on most of my head and the one for your face on my edges because I would assume that the formula for your face is a bit more gentle. The reason I was even doing this was because at the time I was keeping my hair shaved, so I was trying to see if this method could be an alternative to shaving. Now, I want to like point out people's flaws and nothing, but your edges are already sparse and you gonna put this shit on top of it? Okay. Being with the clippers, so stay tuned to see how it all turned out. Okay, now, like I said, I'm gonna use the facial hair removal cream for my edges. It works. Imagine if I did this and my hair never grew back. <laughs> Imagine, right? <laughs> right? Y'all, I burnt all my hair follicles out. <laughs> but this doesn't burn. Um, it smells really good. I will link the other video okay, that I did using this cream so that you guys can hear all of the benefits of it. All right, now I'm just going over it because I really want to make sure that all of the hair she, gets removed. I want on, it to be hold patchy. Hold on, what you said? I want... She has a full head, a head full of locks now. Mm, okay. Oh, look at her. No, I'm nah, not allowing nah, you to punch I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna also touch up my eyebrows. So that's what I'm about to do real quick. And by the time I'm done that, it should be time for me to go upstairs and wash this off because I'm just gonna get in the shower and 
wash it off instead Ooh, of trying girl. to get it or something. If you ain't had a sensitive scalp before, you better have it now. Also, I can see any red now. getting on my brows while I'm doing this. I don't want you to think it's burning or getting irritated. That's just the um the dye from the color popsicles. When I bought them, I didn't realize like the dye would transfer, but it doesn't stain or anything. But just just watch my tutorial. Like I said before, I'm going to link the actual eyebrow grooming tutorial in this video. And also, just so that you guys know, this didn't cause any damage or long-term effects to my scalp or anything like that. Alright y'all, so I'm about to go upstairs, hop in the shower, and just wash this all off. Um, I'm going to probably use shampoo and soap. I'll let y'all know when I come back. And yeah, let's see the results. Okay, you guys. So would not recommend. Um, the parts that are cleanly shaven feel very soft, pro. Um, it's very uneven, which I felt like it was gonna be. I hope the camera is capturing everything. Um, we see I did it. miss a few spots. We definitely like, see it. That's my fault, but like in the middle and stuff, like there's mad patches. Like I'm gonna have to go over this all over again with the clippers. So for all of that, I should have just used the clippers. I feel like if I were to do it again, then it would all be even, but I shouldn't even have to do all of that. So. I am about to just take the clippers and shave it again. Um, I did just want to try this, like I said, just to see if this would replace the clippers, but the answer is no. And yeah, I'm glad I tried it. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on a video if anything bad happens, like if after a few days I start to get ingrown hairs or anything crazy like that. But if nothing bad happens, then this is the end of that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys about how I, um, I washed it in the shower, duh. Okay, so I used shampoo and soap and I was like scrubbing really hard. It was so hard to get it off. It was like the hair was like, Stuck my head. Melted to your head? Um, yeah, I'm sure. It, see, like, I'm sure it was. I'm, um, I'm sure. So, yeah, for all of that, as long as it took me to wash it out and scrub it off and all of that for it to not even be even, wouldn't recommend. So, I am about to go use the clippers. I have them right here. And, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions, just comment below. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to do that right now. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. She had two cameras? Yeah, watch this guy. This guy, this guy knows what he's talking about here. You want your hair to look like his? Watch him. You know, I just started putting uh, petroleum jelly on my head to make my head a little bit shinier. I think it's working. Ain't it glossy? It it real glossy today. Yeah, see that? It gl it glossy. All right. <clears throat> Let me see. Uh, hold on, you said she got a head full of locks. Let me see. Hey you guys, it's Jenai. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Oh shit. Oh, okay. I remember we we saw this, didn't we? I thought she looked familiar. A year and a half. Hey you guys, it's Janai. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. I know it's been a while, but... Okay, good for her. Who gonna check me, boo? Not me. Alright. Oh. Hey, pros. All right, where were we? Uh, yes, Jermaine All Natural. Let's see. Oh, hold on. Who said that? <laughs> need to go back and watch that. That's funny. I forgot all about that. Uh, let me see. Stop putting the E on there. Oh, I didn't watch this one. Hold on, is there a reason you specifically wanted me to watch this one? 
I feel like you low key be like calculating certain reactions out of me. Is, is this part of your diabolical plan? Or is this just a good video? Stay tuned and find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Or you can just watch now. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Jermaine on Natural. I am Jermaine Ryan. And I am going to show you all how to give me some options. Give me some options yes. on maintaining all right, I your love toe, it. your natural toe. <laughs> so you may have seen in my video the other day. Remember that any videos that pop up above will always be linked down below in the description box. And I wish I was good with that. You to watch after I'm terrible this posting one. links. So I decided to you know wash my hair, do a simple moisturizer, do a nice serum on it to help seal in moisture, rock my natural hair just as it is. Is it Christmas time over there? But New Year's been over with. When you gonna change these decorative flowers and pine cones and shit? You know, without all of the extra defined curls, without the damn gel, mistletoe, without anything, just and as everything the else. Hair is germane on that drug. In doing that, I also want to do a follow-up video on, great, we've got the hair all nice and it's in its <clears> natural <throat> state, you know, look at it in all magnificent, magnificate in it. Magnificate? Is that a word? What? I kind of like magnificate. Um, Bow that's down. not like a chemical. Maybe that's not quite it. <laughs> that's, that might not be quite it. But basically, you know, we're, we love our hair. We, we should love our hair and we should love it in every state and every form that it comes in. Simply moisturized and healthy, right? I say all that to say great so that's during the daytime but what do you do at night to keep it up to start you off this is one option you can just throw on your bonnet what happens is that depending on how you sleep you might wake up to a flat head yeah <laughs> you might have the smush yeah. you might have the smush hair in the back yeah it, you know it, it's just like that it definitely will do that <laughs> well, side might be smushed in like it all depends on how you sleep another option one that i personally have been doing just because i like to do this option is that i will throw my bonnet you're behind oh, they're done that's a scarf sir on and it still kind of does the same thing now there are a couple of options with the bonnet See, scarf that you can do you all know that if you've seen how i wear my hair when i do my bonnet scarf you know i throw the hair for it as much as possible take it and wrap it up that you do also have the option of wrapping it from the front so you can wrap it this way as well if i can find it what's happening i'm getting lost in it scarf you can <laughs> You can wrap it from the front as well. Still, you you still may encounter some parts of your hair being flapped depending on how you sleep. Okay, Other I was wondering. Crunchies or hair ties. A couple Ooh, options. Who Break got time take for pieces this? like so. Break them into larger chunks. Oh, actually, yeah, that, might, that might work. On. And this is to kind of help give it length. They will, you know, wrap the band down the Ooh, width of the child, hair. You know, the way... And this is to more so mm, give you length. The way if my you hair are, was like, trying to keep up. a bigger throat, then this will help keep your stretch. You put them bands in, in at night, and then really when you curly, wake up, them bands don't want to come back out. To another option, puffs. Now, there are a couple of ways that you can do this. And this also depends on how long your hair is. Um, I like the snap. I like the swirly curly snappies. I've seen people do it with scrunchies. My hair isn't quite there yet, uh, especially since I have not stretched it out. I just let it be as it is. So I will use their snappies and I will create a puff like so. Now how tight do them things get? Oh. Are you tying it? Nothing too tight. Um, depending on how high you do it. You would either snap it from the back or not the tongue out. Snap it from the front, <laughs> and pull it up somewhere so that it's not as tight on your hair just because you're only going to bed. So pull that up just to loosen it. This will stretch your hair just a little bit, but it's just going to keep it all up when you go to sleep. When you wake up, you're not going to have areas that are flat. And then when you take your snap off, you're going to have a dick in your head. You know, the hair is going to kind of fluff out and you can just pull it out as you need be or pick it. Pretty simple. So other ways that you can maintain your fur at night is actually you could just, again, take chunks of hair and you can either twist it or braid it. Oh, uh, and this is gonna, again, mm, help with mm. stretch and also help to prevent when you lay down at night and when you wake up in the morning, your hair being flat. You? So you can just twist the pieces, large, large chunks. Because at nighttime, I'm not trying to spend a half an hour twisting up hair. Okay, okay, nice okay, yeah, yeah. Pretty yep. much still stay overnight. Uh, because we are wanting to maintain the moisture, you will still either use a 
scarf, your bonnet, or satin pillow to help keep the moisture in your hair at night. Then take it down in the morning, you'll have a little bit more texture to your hair. But again, just depends on how you want your hair to look. Let's say, so for me, so me for instance, I've just been doing my scarf um, and kind of pineappling it up, mainly. So with that, like I said, you will have flatter pieces or if you just sleep on it with the bonnet on, you're gonna have flat parts. How you wanna make it big again is up to you, again. Several options here. If your hair, if the hair is maybe several days old, or if your hair, I'm is, doing that now. <laughs> if your hair dries out a lot faster, then at this point, you definitely could go ahead and take your favorite moisturizer, apply it to your hands, go through, separate your hair, pull the flat pieces out, and just really open it up. You know, moving the cream throughout the hair, but also, like I said, giving it shape and also adding the moisture. So it's kind of like a two for one. And then, you know, pick if you want it really big. Other option, which is the option that I have been using, spray bottle. <laughs> you all know that I am good for a spray and shake. Listen, and it'd be flat. You know, I'll get up and I'll shake it out as much as all I can or how, as much as it will do. And just then I'll take just my spray bottle, is going every lightly which mist it, not enough to soak it, but do a light mist. Just a light mist. Here comes the shrinkage. You know, we're wearing the hair as is, and this is only if you, I think that using water only is a good method if you don't plan on trying to have like this perfectly round fro. But if you're just letting it be as it is, then this method, your hair is going to draw back up anyway. And it's just going to be as it is, and it also, like I said, with the water, it's going to loosen the hair up and allow it to shake out however so that you don't have flatness in the back. Look at it. No flatness. No flatness in the back. And then it'll just... Hold on. There was that one side. It. So these are just several ways of maintaining your hair at night, maintaining the moisture in it, and then the next day when you wake up, what you can do to, you know, get your hair back into a shape. Oh, and I didn't show it. Big pick. <laughs> Jesus, that thing uh, is big. big. This is what I will do, too. Yep. When I, after I spray it, shake it out some, I just go into the roots just to give it some volume. Big pick from Pattern. Love this pick, just because it covers so much space. And that's it, that's the most that I'll do. So yeah, so these are just some options on maintaining it at night, and just to give you options on the next morning, what you can do to take your hair down if you're trying to get it back in shape, if you're trying to unflatten the flattened areas, just trying to get it to, you know, that initial state that it was in when you first washed it and it first dried, like so. All right, so let me know in the comments down below. Wait, it's over? What method do you use? Aww. And did I leave any out? Let me know down below. All right, make sure it that you so like this video. Press the red subscribe button. I am sharing experiences. I am giving you options to best help you maintain your hair. How to do their fro at night and how to do it and how to get it back into a fro the next morning. Um, punch the notification bell so that you can stay press of when I post my videos. And again, thank you for tuning in to Jermaine on that draw. And I'll see you in the next one. I think where I've seen this screen effect before, it was on an anime somewhere, and I can't think of it. Yes, I love the patterns pick. I picked it up a few weeks ago. The LOL, the part of the bonnet scarf. I use uh, the bonnet and sometimes kind of buff. I want to use a satin scarf looking for a satin one. Yeah, they all work the same. Nah, they don't. They don't. At least you caught yourself while you was editing. It happens to the best of us. But thank you for this night routine to protect and fluff out the hair. This made me laugh so much. The scarf. <laughs> Magnif Magnificate? could even be your own product line. Don't do that. Mm -mm. That is not marketable. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Not me sitting here with my large chunk twist and headscarf watching this at 3 a.m. I thought this was too soon. Hold on. Too soon? Wait, is this an inside joke? Is that from a movie? I, I don't know. I don't get the joke. I don't, I don't get that. Hey, thank you for that. Next we have... Hold on, let me see. Um... Did Ronnie Cara ever come back or did she go to bed? Ronnie! Where you at, sis? We need to know what you want to watch. Ronnie stay lost, but I don't get it either. 
my cousin inside. Oh, okay, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. All right. Uh, let's see. We got one. I think we only have two more choices. Unless Ronnie brings her ass back and let her know what she want to watch. But in the meantime, between time, we're going to watch Nick Knack 86 She said, your choice. Happy belated birthday. Thank you. Thank you so much. I was recording a video of me uh, doing my health vlog yesterday. And my ass completely forgot how old I was. It was so sad. <laughs> I completely forgot. I was like, am I 33, 34? Nigga, you 32. Like, I'm gonna need you to keep track of these things. Um, what do we watch? Um, my choice. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, let's watch. What's his name? What's his face? Let me see, Ro Ro G, what you say? New mom life has me missing all your lives now. I'm so behind on them. Sending this while I can. I'm just happy I'm able to catch at least some of it while I do this laundry. <gasps> Congratulations! Girl, I ain't going nowhere. Catch me when you can. And thank you for the super chat. I'm glad I lost my ear AirPods in this case for my ears. Am I that loud? Let me turn this down. Y'all old sensitive ear ears. Y'all y'all hear too damn good. That's y'all problem. Y'all hear too good. Oh, whoa, whoa. All yeah. oh, right, I love it. T-shirt, wet T-shirt. <laughs> Jesus, that body is together, though. Lord, y'all will never see my body look like that, so don't anticipate it. It will, it will never, okay? It will never look like that. We ain't about to play the game. I might lose a few pounds, bitch, but it's not no. No, no, no. It's not no. <laughs> Hold on. Let me go back up again. Ouch. That thing looks hard. Okay, here we go. Um, Did I pin it? Here we go. What you talking about? Was it something about dress up? Was me and the mm 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 if you couldn't tell. Hold on, what's going on? Rada, have you ever worked with a personal trainer? I can see you cussing them out. Really? Can you? Happy belated birthday, Miss Senior. Oh, thank you so much, Dr. Shiko. Uh, let me see. He looked like he would be Iman's lost, long lost son. As far as me working with a personal trainer, nah. I I just I've been kind of uh avoiding and evading that whole situation for years and years and years. And I'm hoping that I can get my workout situation together to where I don't need them. But, um, yeah. Hold on, what, what, what are we looking for? Eucalyptus? Where y'all find that eucalyptus for your shower? Hold on. He had eucalyptus in his shower? Oh, like, wait. Oh, the plant? <gasps> That's what it looks like? Wow. Wait, so how long can you leave that there? Cause you know, I stay congested. That, that would definitely help open my sinuses and stuff. 
cheaper to buy eucalyptus oil at all. Yeah, see, I'm not I'm not really good with the plants. I, I'm probably going to throw away half of my produce this week. But, yeah, you know what? Speaking of the eucalyptus oil, I got a big old box. I'm going to just use my, um, his eyes don't burn. It's not like peppermint, I don't think. It's it's very subtle. That and spearmint. If you if you like peppermint but peppermint's too intense, go for spearmint oil instead. It's it's very subtle. Oh, hold up. Okay. First things first, I'm going to be stretching my hair. Uh, the reason why I'm gonna be stretching my hair is because I've just been experimenting with just different techniques and different ways that I style my hair. And I actually stumbled upon this on accident. It was an experiment. Um, I blow dried my hair and I wasn't sure what style I wanted to do. So I just did a twist. It's dried out so it can stay there for a while. <gasps> oh. Just to play it safe. And I was really shocked. Look at y'all being all earthy and shit. <laughs> What, I need to come up with my t-shirt. I'm an earthy bitch. Oh, well, my hair turned <laughs> out. Even though I didn't really use the right products for it. So Merch I'm coming using soon. Products this time that I will discuss later on in the video. I'm using products that will fight humidity because it is starting to heat up a little bit. And I don't know, whenever we kind of transition into new seasons, that's always the time that I like to take to try different things just to see how my hair reacts. I feel like my hair kind of changes every single year. So what worked last year won't work I'm kind of liking the new facial hair situation. It's been a while since I watched them, but I definitely don't recall this. But I'm I'm liking the new look. What worked four months ago won't work now. So first things first, I'm gonna be stretching my hair. I'm gonna be using the Dyson. With but the Jesus, comb these lips is speed. moist. Yeah, my hair All is right, fresh washed. Wet t-shirt. Wet t-shirt. Conditioner that I use in the shower. And the first product that I'm actually gonna be using is another sort of like conditioning. Product. It is the Sunday Revive Me Daily Moisturizing Spray. So the reason why I'm using this is because um, Oh, my... that reminds me. Thank you, Kid Shelby. I I need I got this video I need to make. It's it's kind of a rant. I need to go ahead and make it. But... Against humidity, and because I'm gonna be doing this on um wow, I just sprayed my eyes. Love that for me. I'm gonna be doing this on a stretch style this time. I'm not really gonna have all that excess water to um really give me a defined look. So I need as much anti-humidity as I can get. Rada, stop admiring the man. Girl, please. I'll snap his little behind in half. Them, them little muscles and shit don't scare me. <laughs> oh, that's an expensive-ass dryer. You know, I'm always just so blown whenever I stretch my hair just because the growth is just going crazy. And I'm gonna be doing an updated uh, like hair growth type of video. I'm talk about the benefits that I've noticed. It's just from doing a twist out on stretched hair. I noticed that my hair does not tangle nearly as much as if I were to do a regular twist out or even a wash and go, which is a plus because it makes wash. I heard Dyson is worth the money. There you the go, lies. bitch. The I'm lies. telling you. Trifling. Ooh, it's like, no, I'm not allowing you to pump me for the bullshit. Oh, you want to go, bitch? Let's Hold go. Hold on. Do I got some more here? You mean to tell me in all them nigga ass cities y'all can no, find that, nobody No, that ain't it. That ain't it. Okay. Oh, girl, that's expensive. No, it's not expensive. You just broke, bitch. <laughs> that's it. Way smoother. Number two, my curls are a lot more consistent and elongated. My curls are actually more consistent when I do That's this Xavier's buddy. Oh, okay. Hair, but I just know Xavier know, know everybody. Shit, he know everybody. On top of that, I could twist my hair and then take a twist out in the same day and have great results. So this is the Diva Curl Super Cream. I'm gonna be using this just because I already know how this performs in my hair. I know what I'm gonna get. Fire product smells amazing, works amazing. And then I'm also gonna be using the Weed Dad Why is it so Control small? Heat and Humidity Gel. Like I said, the theme for this twist out is going to be fighting humidity. Georgia humidity ain't nothing to play with, so you got to come prepared and come correct. Rada, right, not you snapping him in half. Have step, some decorum. Uh-uh, did he have decorum with that, that thumbnail, putting his body and chest all out there? See, if you're going to check me, check his ass. Anybody has to see I all that? Do this as soon as I get out of the shower. I did not do so 
this time because I didn't want to oil my skin. Shout out, if I buy it like that, I'll be out here in these streets with my chest is out, out too. Out and to have again, and then I'm just going to go through really quick and oil my scalp. This is so important regardless of what style you do. If you don't start with scalp care, you're not doing your hair right. I don't care what nobody says. We're taking a section this size. As you can see, not too small, not too thick. We want the twist to all be the same size and density. Otherwise, the curls aren't going to be consistent. I mean, you could still make it work, but... Just to save yourself some time, just make sure all your twists are the same size. I used to think my so yellow bird could beat first. out any so dryer. Yeah, nobody uses this any, uses Especially, it anymore. I stretched my hair just because I really wanted... He and George are out, and I really wanted yeah, to show you Yeah, I came across him on a date in that one. Now, you do not have to use heat to stretch your hair. You could wash your hair at night, and you could do, like, some really thick... Oh, really not me putting all his tea braids, out there. And that'll stretch your Child. hair until the time you wake up. All you gotta do is twist it. I just do this because it's quicker, and my hair is obviously a lot more straighter than if I were to do braids. So I'm gonna take the climate control gel next. I have not used this product before, and I've heard... You know, Atlanta's real small. About it, so it's real small. Once the product is applied, I go through with the dimming brush, and I will start twisting before my hair braids. <laughs> Not on the day that, that ooh, was it grinded? No, sir. I've never been on grinder. Another trick that I want to show you all is um, if you struggle with like getting your ends to actually curl. I don't know if it's just me, but sometimes that's just how my ends work. I could have the most amazing twist out in the past, but sometimes my ends would just. Ruin the it's easy for their muscles to pop with two percent body fat. Something that has really, like, fine teeth. And then I'll just comb through, like so, just to tangle it, and then cool it up. See, I got, I got and muscles go. underneath this big old gut. You just can't see it, okay? Don't get it twisted. I got abs. You just can't see it. Jack? No, I ain't so, on none of like them nasty-ass like abs. Earlier, they're not going to take very long at all to dry, so I'm going to let these set. What kind of man do y'all take me for? Y'all the final look. I returned. So, the whole day has passed. And it's time to take out these twists, but before I do anything, I'm going to oil my hands. And like I said, I'm going to be trying new stuff in this video. So I'm going to be using this Haitian Moringa Oil by Crayola Scents. And I'm just going to take a generous amount of this. What's your type? The girls would love to know. Y'all know what my type is. I say this every time. We ain't listening to you, Michelle. I say this every time. My, my His ends are killing me. It was killing me too, but I wasn't going to say anything. I, my type is anybody that looks like me. I'm my own type. I, I want somebody. His type is him. No, it's actually not. No. He's he's actually not my type. I was I was just being funny. I I like me a thickums. I like if he wear glasses, that's a plus. If he's a nerd, that's a plus. If he's a gamer, that's a plus. If he's a skater. Maybe it could work out. I'm kind of a lone wolf. I don't like skating with people, you know. I, I kind of do my own thing. But outside of that, yeah, I just, I won't, I won't meet another me. And I'm good. Yeah. That's All right, so what I'm going to do now is, after I take the twist out, I like to split my hair up in half. So this is the hack. I'm going to let y'all in on it. Because they don't want you to know. But I got you. I got you. So, what I like to do is, for the back and the bottom half of my hair, I will do the most separating. So what this does is it lifts up my hair and gives the illusion that I have way more volume than I actually do. Because I don't want to over separate my curls on the first day because my hair, it naturally gets bigger and it gets looser throughout the week. So I want to try to preserve the curls as much as possible. Just keep in mind, the more you separate, the more frizz you're going to have. But I don't mind a little frizz. I think it adds a little personality, a little character. I don't like when my looks look too polished. It's kind of the same thing with my washing day. Shouldn't me. I like my shit to look polished. Day one to day 14. Polish. But no, what has changed is What's your personality type? I have no idea. I never took the test. that by using less product and focusing less on getting them super defined. Did he get a diva cut? Is that why his ends look like that? The bigger is, the bigger it is. I felt like this was definitely self-explanatory in the video, but... I guess not. And if you miss the video, I will have it somewhere in one of the corners at the top. Yeah, I never took the personality test. I was trying to, but y'all said it was the test was gonna take forever. So okay, I so said, the last "Fuck thing it, I, do I ain't gonna take it." Is go ahead and create some volume. So if y'all give me the link, I'll take the test like and find nice out. Massage, but I'm also trying to like lift my roots up with my fingertips. And we will be going in with a pick too. So I picked my hair at the top, up, everything else away from my face. And then the bottom half, 
I pick it like this is going definitely not down. polished. Air, Mission stretch accomplished. The stretch the roots going down. So away. It's cute though. Down. Now another thing is I don't know if you can see there are a couple pieces that are kind of straggly or just got a little frizzy. What I'm gonna do is just take a little bit more of the super cream, like the smallest amount, and I'm just going to smooth it over. No, you're more. taking away the personality. Yeah, I mean, when it dries, it's gonna get fuller so that it doesn't look wet and flat. So yeah, I just do that to like just little pieces here and there. So I feel like Narada is extremely guys, specific, and if you ain't it, he's look, gonna really definitely let you like know. Nah, out. I'm more inclined to just ghost you, like I did that dude I went on a date with. Um, what was his name? Remember, I I I mentioned him on the live stream, and I forgot he was probably watching the shit. I never heard back from him after that. So I guess I, I guess mission accomplished with that too. <laughs> my hair out of my face, but yeah, this is the. We just didn't book. vibe. He was cute. Really he was movies. nice. If we just didn't vibe. Make sure to you like and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you guys think of. He was such an old man. It like was like you don't have to put heat on your hair. It's okay, your hair. There we are need to ways get out, this. live this life. Way. He was like, oh, no, but... I don't do outdoors. I don't go outside. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. I'm like, okay, I'm kind of a homebody too, but I'm trying to find somebody to go on adventures with like you definitely ain't that person but mm. and then we didn't even vibe as friends like we we couldn't even be friends but for whatever reason he kept hitting me up i guess i don't know no not him watching the stream and you forgot yeah i forgot i told him about my channel and um i'm pretty sure he saw it i'm pretty sure oh wait i didn't even see the end result shit Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's an elongated twist out. Okay. It wasn't what I expected from him. <clears throat> you were his opposite, so he was attracted. Uh... Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Uh, he was he was kind of young too. He was like, um, how old was he? Twenty. Twenty six. Yeah, he was kind. I feel like he wasn't too sure of himself. I, I feel like he still had some growing to do. So that there was that too. Not to say that twenty six is just so young, but it it just. He was a mature 26, but I could tell he was very sheltered, and that just wasn't going to work for me. I hate that opposite attract stuff. I want someone similar to me for the most part. Opposites only like the novelty of each other. After a while, that mess becomes annoying. The post personality test I posted takes like 30 minutes. 26 and acting like an old man. I'm a homebody, but I definitely love being outdoors and experiencing new places and things. Yeah, like, I don't like, like, going outside and hiking and shit and being in crowds and shit. Like, Haiti's going to some type of lantern parade that they having at the Beltline here in Atlanta next next month, I think. And I think she invited me to go, and I was like, yeah, I'm good on that. <laughs> I'm good on that. But take lots of pictures for me. But she always invites me. She's such a good friend, and she understands me. She always invites me, and every time she invites me, I always, like, decline and turn her down. And she understands that I'm an introvert, and we just like to be invited. And, you know, we might say no. We might go along, but it's just... We, we want that invitation still, you know, to feel like, okay, you're still welcome to come if you want, but chances are I don't want to go. <laughs> I don't want to go. Okay. Um, <laughs> where are we at? Uh, I believe we are at the last request of the night. Oh, only 14 videos? Damn, that was... Ooh, that sounds fun. I hope Penny enjoys herself. She always does. She always does. She'll have a good time regardless. Until Rona ends, there's no motivation for me. Wait, what? 
What's the problem? Boy, you better get out and live life. Man, fuck Rona. You better live your life. You only get one. Shit. You can catch Rona and die tomorrow. And then what? You would have been like, damn, I wish I would have went to that, that damn lantern parade if I known I was going to be like this. Like, the fuck? Nah. Listen. People die every day. It's sad, but that's that's <laughs> that's the nature of life. I feel you. Invite me to crowds on your FaceTime. <laughs> The personality quiz I posted says it on it's only like five minutes. Hold on, did you post it in the Discord? Post it in the Discord and tag me, tag me in it, and then I'll um I'll do it maybe after this video. So whose request is this? I'm I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. Um, shout out to Simply Clever. This is her request. Okay, Kayla, the perfect flexi rod set. Thank you for the request. And didn't you say you watching the Rob Kardashian video? Hold on, who said that? Who who is that? I don't even know who that is. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, I didn't. Hold on. Okay, cool, cool. No problem. I, I'm, I'm kind of curious. I want to know. And it's kind of early anyway, so why the fuck not? I'm trying to survive. If a ninja cough on me, they getting shanked. <laughs> oh, you want to go, bitch? Let's go. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know why. I, I will say, like, I... I know COVID is out there, but I don't I don't walk around living my life like, oh my god, COVID, oh my god, no, no. But like it just seemed like people have kind of like been taking this COVID thing and like making it like mocking it in a way. Like it's so uncomfortable to go at a restaurant and like you're you're with your family and there's another family there and there's children there. And the child is just, <coughs> <coughs> and it's obvious the child is not really sick. She just like play coughing, and the parents ain't even saying nothing about this. She just, <coughs> <coughs> it's like no, that's not. Make her stop. Like you're making people uncomfortable. Like the like make her stop. Like nobody wants to. And then kids already got. Poor hygiene to begin with. Like, no, please, no. And they just act like they don't see it. You know, like, I, I feel like now in this day and age, we got to navigate society to help make other people feel comfortable. Because everybody is at a different place with this COVID thing. Some people are like, oh, fuck COVID. I ain't wearing no mask. <laughs> Me. And other people are like, oh, my God, I got to wear my mask everywhere. You know, I, I don't I don't want people too close to me. So you kind of meet people where they're at and you just, you know, navigate and, you know, make other people feel safe and comfortable. Like, anytime you kind of make people feel uncomfortable, I feel like, you're an uh, uh, agent of chaos. Ain't that what they call it? An uh, agent of chaos. Yes. The babies are the safest from COVID because they have better immune systems. Is that what the CDC told you? The lies. The lies. There you the go. Lies. The I'm lies. I'm telling you. Yeah. Trifling. All right, let's check it out. Hey, beautiful people, welcome to my channel. My name is Kayla, and if you're new here, go ahead and hit that Ooh, subscribe. Oh, girl, we're going to slow you down. At the OK Kayla. So in today's video, I decided I wanted to do a flexi rise set with my hair color. I love doing the horseshoe method, so that's what right, I'm going to do. All right, thanks, Kendra. However, this time, I'm going to use more flexi rise because I kind of want to perfect it better and just see how it's gonna turn out with this color. So you guys love whenever I do my flexi rod test, especially a while back when I did it with some Camille Rose products. So that's what I'm trying to recreate, the whole fro look, but with this color. So I already have it done a little bit in the back and I wanted to show you guys, normally I do seven sections, 
but for this one I'm doing a little bit more and I just find that it helps it dry better and it's probably get a little bit more definition now that I'm going to add more sections and instead of flat twisting to the scalp I'm just doing two uh, two strand twists at the like root of it a little bit and then going in and wrapping it around the flexi rod so I've already shampooed and conditioned my hair and for my moisturizer, I'm using the Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Curling Cream. So I wanted to be light-handed with products as well. So just two products, a moisturizer, which is this. And for my styler, I'm using the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Style and Shine Foaming Mousse. Love this. I've used this in braid outs and twist outs. It has a pretty good hold to it as well. And for my Flexi Rods, this is where it gets a little bit different from my other Flexi Rod sets. Normally, I use like the Jumbo Flexi Rods that are about like a one-inch circumference around. These are my lot of body Flexi Rods. They're definitely not one inch. Like, I want to say these are half inch, honestly, because it's pretty small. Like, yeah. let me see if I can find a comparison. Okay, so I found a comparison. I have one of my other flexi rods, and this is like a gray one. This one is one inch. So just to show you guys a side by side, the blue is definitely slightly skinnier. So I'm going to say this is half an inch. Eh, it all and look the I'm same. I'm going in the same sections that I normally do however in the back I created a little bit more so for example I'm still gonna have these two in the front and the direction I'm going is facing Good night, forward this way, which I'm gonna show you as I put the flexi right there that's what creates the volume so in the back section I have one two three across one two three on the crown area which I'm gonna do and then in the front Dr. Fauci said the pandemic was over yesterday on the news Child, Dr. Fauci engineered this damn pandemic. <laughs> the crown area. I don't trust nothing that man say. And I kind of like to make sure this section is well saturated with that foaming mousse because you want. Yeah, they're they're definitely form. hiding shit from the public. Whatever it is, when whatever the fuck is going on, just I just sure know I'm gonna be out here living my table. best life and being safe in the process. Alright, so instead of flat twisting, you guys, what I'm going to do is just go in a vertical part and make two sections like so. Take my flexi rod, create the horseshoe. Fauci the fraud. <laughs> slide the horseshoe down on that section. Oh, split it. Okay, that's section, smart. And pin that up in a way to kind of hold the flexi rod in place. And now what I'm doing is taking that part of that section, split that into two, and flat twist, well not flat twist, but regular twist, two strand twist a couple times down. Take it, kind of like to finger, detangle it more. Hmm, this is and interesting. To literally wrap that around the flexi rod. And I'm kind of squeezing some excess product out as I slide that section down. Make sure. How does it hold to it though? You to make bend sure it? The end piece is wrapped around really good. Sometimes I'll kind of just go in and smooth it around like so. Now, this is what I like to do now, just to kind of make sure it dries really good. Take some of that extra uh, product with your towel and just squeeze some of that product out so it'll dry faster. In Asia, they been wearing masks when they're sick or protect themselves from getting sick with crowds. Yeah, we, we should have been doing that anyway. People just go anywhere and start coughing and sneezing everywhere. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about your loss, Imani. Yeah, my condolences. All right, now for the front section, I did make two separate sections. So what I'm going to do is... Make sure it's coming like forward for like from a diagonal per, uh, perspective. So instead of going down that way or going straight that way, I'm going to go diagonal. And honestly, it doesn't even have to be too perfect. I just try to want to, I mean, or kind of want to make sure the sections have like an even amount of hair in them. So I'm going to pin this out the way. Go in with my Cream of Nature Foaming Mousse. Now, because this front section isn't going to be flat twisted, I'm going in with some edge control 
on the edge part just to kind of smooth that up and in and I do these for or do that for both sections I'm going to take my flexi rod horse shoe it He damaged. No, her hair just looks Eight. limp when it's wet. Two separate sections. It could just be her texture. Then one away. It, it it looks like her texture to me. Take that section. Twist it a couple times. Now I am wrapping pretty taut on the flexi rod because I really want to make sure it takes that shape really well. This community is so compassionate and savage as y'all be. What you thought this was, the Shady Bunch? We a tribe family here. The next day, and I did end up sitting under the hair dryer for a good hour and 30 minutes last night just to make sure it was going to be super dry. Cause it's definitely I'm heat damage. Oh, I didn't see it. I wasn't even paying attention. I ended up doing 10 flexi rods instead of the normal like eight or seven that I do. So I went to bed with a satin pillowcase. I didn't have a scarf or a bonnet on top because I wanted the air to kind of get to it even more and let it dry more overnight. And they feel pretty dry. Drier than normal had I done like only seven or eight flexi rods, so that's good. I'm just gonna coat my hands with some oil and start taking these flexi rods down. Oh shit. Alright, so they feel pretty dry. I do feel like a few little damp spots at the root area. So if you want to go in and diffuse that, you totally can. But for me, I don't really care. As long as, like, the body of the hair is dry, I'm all good. Because I feel like if it's just, like, 5 or 10% damp, that kind of might aid in some more volume as it dries. So I'm totally okay with it. You just don't want to be soaking wet. So now I'm going to go in and separate the curls. Now, like I said, I did two strands, twist a few down before I wrapped around the flexi rod, which kind of helps separate and make more curls. I'm just going to separate Ooh. and just kind of twirl the curl around my finger as I separate them to kind of let the curls fall where they may. And I'm kind of twirling in the direction that the curl is going. Her texture is perfect for this style, though. This ain't... If you got a kinky coarse texture, it's not separating like that. Like, just have realistic expectations. Y'all, I just have to take a break before I do these last two sections because, oh my gosh, this is literally it's one of cute. the cutest flexi rods I have ever done. Like, the color <laughs> looks amazing. Like, oh my goodness. The shrinkage is crazy, though. Good luck to this. Man, fuck the shrinkage. Oh my gosh. Like, this was the best idea ever. Okay. All right. We gotta, we gotta fix these roots, though. Right I'm literally just still unraveling. Sections and I, I was thinking of doing this, this but it so seems fire. like it would be too feminine. See, this is why I do the flexi rods coming forward in the front because it creates that yeah. full bang look. It would. Wow. It would. The volume is insane. All right, now I'm going to kind of go play with it a little bit and pick it out to how I want it to lay in the volume I want, but I am so happy. I, I don't even know how you would. So cute. You. Masculinize it. <laughs> Oh, I need volume at the top. It's so flat. <laughs> All right, so this is the final look, you guys. I went and picked it out a little bit, put some hoop earrings on because I felt like it kind of matched the vibe a little bit. So now I'm going to go take some fire pictures. I'm obsessed with this fro. I'm excited. Now she just needs a hat. She just needs a hat on top of it. This is just first day hair, but like, y'all see that spring back? No it's flaking. Crazy, okay. Is amazing. Like, wow. I use that mousse and it was so sticky. Luck, Girl, get you that lot of body. You know what? Let me add that to my uh, to my Amazon store before I, I drop that shit. Like a layered look, I would definitely suggest going with like full one inch on the bottom and crown area and then smaller ones around the front. Just kind of add length if you want that. But yeah, that is pretty much it, you guys. Oh, yes, I got it for 387 You guys hit that subscribe button for more videos to come. And follow me on TikTok and Instagram at the OK Kayla. And I will talk to you guys in my next hair video or video in general. Bye. Bye. Oh.
Oh, oh sorry. I, mean, I don't know what I was doing. Um, is it cut like that? How did she get the bang like that? How she rolled it? She basically rolled her hair around in a circle, and then the shrinkage just kind of helped it draw in. She should buy a beret. Is it a beret or a beret? It's a beret, right? Because it's French. Yes, a lot of body mousse is amazing. I don't use mousse on my natural hair. Only when I have a protective style to help with flyaways. Damn, a lot of body mousse for a 387. That's a steal. Yeah, I'm get I'm getting my store together for y'all. Not because it's French. <laughs> okay, so let me see. Before we go to bed tonight, let me um do this personality test so we can figure out uh, who how, how I'm compatible or whatever the fuck. I don't know. I'm curious though. I want to see. And I'm going to take my ass to bed and I'm going to sleep in because I don't have to be at work until 5.30. Oh, FYI for um, Discord members, uh, movie night might have to get canceled tomorrow. I got a late appointment, so just FYI. If it is canceled, I'll probably just end up streaming on the gaming channel, so... Answer each of the questions honestly about yourself and well score the quiz and let you know how others see you. A total bitch. Alright. I feel most energetic and focused. Mm. No, no, no. No, no, no. In the morning. Yep. Yeah. When I walk, I tend to do it fairly fast with long steps, fairly fast with small steps, less fast head up, and looking the world in the face, less fast head down, very slowly. Child, you gotta take your time and, and see where the fuck you going. When you speak to people, you tend to stand with your arms folded, have your hands clasped, have one or both of your hands on your hips, touch or push the person to whom you are talking, play with your ear or hair, touch your chin or smooth your hair. Wait, did say it, is it? I need the link. Hold on, let me see, let me see first. Um, I definitely try not to stand with my arms folded because it looks like you're guarded. Um, I might stand with my hands clasped, but definitely not on my hips. When you're relaxed, you usually sit with your knees bent with your legs neatly side by side. Your legs crossed, your legs stretched out or straight, one leg curled under you. Let me see. Nah, they're not usually crossed, but... They're cross at the ankles. Does that count? Okay, whatever. When you find something really funny, you usually give a big appreciative laugh. A laugh, but not a loud one. Yeah. <laughs> a quiet chuckle. Oh, child. We had this. Oh, we had this client last week. And I. <laughs> this is so unprofessional talking about people. <laughs> At our salon, but we had this client last week. I just I need people to be able to understand social cues. Like it's nothing wrong with having a big laugh or finding something really funny, but as time go on, when your laugh gets louder and louder and louder, and you're just like like hella loud. It's just very rude, number one, and just disruptive, and just, is it, like, shut the fuck up, like, just shut up, here goes the link, um, for the quiz, if, if you're interested, but, um, yeah, I don't know, and then I had, I had a client 
that usually likes to come in and like relax and like fall asleep. And I was like, girl, I'm sorry. We did not know, like, he was going to be up in here, like, cutting the food like this. She was like, yep, yeah, mm mm-hmm. And it's going to be one of them services. I'm like, yeah, it's, it's one of them services. Anyways, yeah, just, you have to be considerate of other people. Um, all right, when you enter a party or a social gathering, you tend to make a loud interest so that everyone notices you. Hell no. Make a quiet interest looking around for someone you know, definitely. Make the quietest interest trying to stay unnoticed. The fuck is wrong with you? No. If you're focused on a task and you're interrupted, you're likely to welcome the break, feel extremely irritated, very between the two extremes. Be irritated. My favorite color is light blue. Before you fall asleep, you're usually lying, stretched out on your back, no, stretched out face down on your stomach, no, on your side slightly curled, maybe, with your head on one arm, no, with your head under the covers. When you dream, you're often falling, fighting, or struggling, searching for someone or somebody, flying or floating. You usually have dreamless sleep. Your dreams are always pleasant. So, usually when I dream and I remember it, I'm usually, like, running from a murderer or something. Um, and then I always wake up when I'm dying. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Um, that or I typically don't dream anymore. I think because my sleep hasn't been um, very healthy. Um, I just haven't had really good dreams. All right, let's see. You're the loyal friend. I'm a fake-ass bitch. Others see you as sensible, cautious, careful, and practical. Yeah, I, I, I definitely resonate with that. They see you as clever, gifted, or talented, but modest. Not a person who makes friends too quickly or easily, but someone who's extremely loyal to friends you do make and who expects the same loyalty in return. Those who really get to know you realize it takes a lot to shake your trust in your friends, but equally that it takes you a long time to get over if that trust is ever broken. Yeah. Um, I, I feel like that's me. I feel like that's me. This test is real sus. <laughs> How did they get that out of that test? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, this, this was, this was cute, but let me see. What else we got here? Oh. Can I take that one? Okay, attention to deficit hyperactivity disorder is a common neurodevelopmental condition that can affect how you think, process emotions, and respond to your environment. Though this condition is commonly diagnosed in children and teens, it can be diagnosed in adults too. Not everyone has the same symptoms or experiences ADHD the same way. All right. Simply answer the questions on how you behaved and felt during the past six months. Take your time and answer truthfully for the most accurate results. How often do you have difficulty sustaining your attention while doing something for work, school, a hobby, fun activity, remain focused during lectures, lengthy reading, and conversation? Uh, difficulty? Mm, not that much. How often are you easily distracted by external stimuli like something in your environment or unrelated thoughts? Often. How often do you avoid, dislike, or are reluctant to engage in tasks that require sustained mental effort or thought? Sometimes. No, 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 no. Uh, avoid? 
um, test that requires sustained mental effort or thought? Not that often. How often do you have trouble listening to someone even when they are speaking directly to you like your mind is somewhere else? Man, when I tell you Aaliyah be running her fucking mouth, my God. I just be like, girl, you just be talking about any and everything. Like, we, she got off from work today, and I picked her up, and she was just was talking, talking, talking. Like, it, it was like we was driving in the car. Yeah, you know, these people just can't drive. Then it was like um, passing subway. Yeah, you know, the last time I went to subway, man, they gave me the, the, the lettuce, and it just wasn't it wasn't fresh. I'm like, oh, my God. Girl, shut the fuck up. Like, just <laughs> shut up. <laughs> How often do you have difficulty in organizing? How long is this? Ooh, okay, that's not too long. We'll make this quick. How often do you have difficulty in organizing an activity or task needing to get done? Ooh. Y'all should have seen the effort it took to put that damn uh, sip and paint together. How often do you fail to give close attention to details or make careless mistakes in things such as schoolwork? work um rarely how often do you forget to do something you do all the time such as missing an appointment or paying a bill rarely how often do you lose or misplace or damage something that is that's necessary in order to get things done your phone eyeglasses paperwork wallet keys etc sometimes how often do you have trouble following through on instructions or failing to finish schoolwork chores duties in the workplace never how often are you able to play or engage in leisurely activities quietly? Quite often. How often do you have difficulty waiting your turn, such as while waiting in line? Uh, I don't have a problem with it. I'm patient. I took the 16 personalities. Hold on, do they got that one? How long does that test take? I want to take that one. How often do you feel like you're on the go, acting as if you're driven by a motor, unable to be or uncomfortable while being uncomfortable being still for an extended period of time such as in a restaurant or a meeting um kind of uncomfortable how often do you leave your seat in situations when remaining seated is expected never blurt out an answer before a question has been completed never how often do you feel restless like you want to get out and do something sometimes fidget or tap your hands feet or squirm in your seat no how do you find yourself talking excessively never rarely yeah I don't like this test either uh, let me see it said unable to engage in fun activities. Up oh, too late for that. All right. How often do you interrupt or intrude on others, such as butting into their conversations or taking over what others are doing? Eh, sometimes. I had to learn not to do that at the salon. Or are some of the symptoms present prior to age 10? I actually know it wasn't in the last six months, so no. Prior to age 10? No. Two or more settings? No. Possible? Shut, girl, shut the f Girl, shut the fuck up. Y'all don't know shit. Alright. Well, this, this, this was, um... This was, this was nice, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna just stick with the first one. I'm loyal friend for life. Yeah, that's, that's me. All right. On that note, everybody, we gonna take the 16 personalities one. Where is that at? Is it on here? I didn't see it. That's why I was looking for it. It ain't on here. Which one is that one? Am I supposed to Google this? Child, y'all gonna have me up here. Okay. How long is this test? Because we ain't about to see him for no 30 minutes. 
It takes only 10 minutes. All right. Okay. Let's do it. Free personality tests. Complete the test. Be yourself and answer honestly to find out your personality type. View detailed results. Learn how your personality type influences many areas of your life. Grow into the person you want to be with your op optional premium profile. You regularly make new friends. Hell no. You spend a lot of time of your free time exploring various random topics that pique your interests. Mm, kinda. Seeing other people cry can easily make you feel like you want to cry too. Mm. Kinda indifferent. Um, you often make a backup plan for a backup plan. Sometimes. You usually stay calm, even under a lot of pressure. Uh, no, no. Mm -mm. I, I am, I'm kind of calm, but no. At social events, you really try to introduce yourself to new people, and mostly talk to the ones you already know. Yep, sure do. Well, I ain't that damn socially awkward. You prefer to completely finish one project before starting another. Yes. You are very sentimental. No. You like to or use organizing tools like schedules and lists. Sometimes. Even a small mistake can cause you to doubt your overall abilities and knowledge. Yeah. You feel comfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting and striking up a conversation. Mm. You're not too interested walking up to someone and starting a conversation? Mm. No, I'm definitely not doing that. You are not too interested in discussing various interpretations and analyses of creative works. You're not too interested. Yep. You are more inclined to follow your head than your heart. Yes. You usually prefer just doing what you feel like at any given moment instead of planning a particular daily routine. Oh, so wholeheartedly agree. You really worry about whether you make a good impression on people you meet. No, I do care. Only a little. You enjoy participating in group activities. Hell fuck no. You like books and movies that make you come up with your own interpretation of the ending. Hate those. Your happiness comes more from helping others accomplish things than your own accomplishments. Bitch, I don't give a fuck about you. <laughs> what the fuck? You are interested in so many things that you find it difficult to choose what to try next. Hmm. You are prone to worrying that things will take a turn for the worse. Nah, you only live once. You avoid leadership roles in group settings. Yep. You are definitely not an artistic type of person. Yeah, I disagree. You think the world would be a better place if people rely more on rationality and less on their feelings. Definitely. You prefer to do your chores before allowing yourself to relax. Hell no. <laughs> no. Oh, sorry. You enjoy watching people argue. Nah, the shit gets annoying after a while. You tend to avoid drawing attention to yourself. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> your, your mood can change very quickly. No. Well, no, 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 it can, it can. Uh, you lose patience with people who are not as efficient as you. Yes. You often end up doing things at the last possible moment. No, definitely not. You have always been fascinated by the question of what if anything happens after death. No. Nah. 
You usually prefer to be around others rather than on your own. No, get the fuck away from me. You become bored or lose interest when the discussion gets highly theoretical. Yeah. You find it easy to empathize with the person whose experiences are very different from yours. I think so. Um, yeah, I think so. I just hold people accountable. <laughs> you usually postpone finalizing decisions for as long as possible. Yeah, I kind of do. You rarely second guess the choices that you have made. Nope. Don't do that. After a long and exhausting week, a lively social event is just what you need. No. <laughs> no, no, no. You enjoy going to art museums. I would. Maybe not so much. Uh, you often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings. People just be so fucking sensitive. That's that's what the problem is. They just be so damn sensitive. I I'm, I'm not unempathetic. They just like be in their feelings too fucking much. You like to have a to do list for each day. I do. I, I do, actually. Rada, hella logical. He's going to turn out to be an N-I- INTP. We go, we going to find out. You rarely feel insecure. Mm, nah. You avoid making phone calls. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have anxiety of talking on the phone. I've had it since I was a kid. Um, you often spend a lot of time trying to understand views that are diff very different from your own. Yes, I do, actually. In your circle, social circle, you are often the one who contacts your friends and initiates activities. Nope. If your plans are interrupted, your top priority is to get back on track as soon as possible. Yes. You are still bothered by mistakes that you made a long time ago. Not. Mm -mm. You rarely contemplate the reasons for a human existence or the meaning of life. Who gives a fuck about that shit? Your emotions control you more than you control them. No. You take great care not to make people look bad, even when it's completely their fault. I agree. All right, 80% done. We almost there, y'all. Your personal work style is closer to spontaneous bursts of energy than organized and consistent efforts. No. When someone thinks highly of you, you wonder how long it will take them to feel disappointed in you. Oh. The hell? <laughs> Who thinks like this? You would love a job that requires you to work alone most of the time. You believe that pondering abstract philosophical questions is a waste of time. Kind of. You feel more drawn to places with busy, bustling atmospheres than quiet, intimate places. No. You know at first glance how someone is feeling. I have no idea what the fuck you are, you are feeling if you don't tell me. I'm completely aloof. Completely aloof. You often feel overwhelmed. Sometimes I do. You complete things methodically without skipping over any steps. I tried to. You are very intrigued by things labeled as controversial. Nah. You would pass along a good opportunity if you thought someone else needed it more. I would. You struggle with deadlines. Indifferent. You feel confident that things will work out for you. Mm, I would like to believe it. But sometimes I just don't be knowing. I just take it one day at a time. 
I'll put it here. Gender. Hmm. Which one do I want to be today? This will determine your avatar in the results screen. Your personality type is logistician. I S T J A. I am ninety six percent introverted. Definitely agree. Um, energy shows where we direct our mental energy. Sixty six percent observant. Thirty four percent intuitive. Yeah. Nature, this trait determines how we make decisions and cope with emotions. 62% thinking, 38% feeling. Yeah, I, I think so. I thought you would be I-N. Ooh, what is that? I-N. I-N. How, do, how does it work? What, what, is, what do the letters stand for? Okay, um, tactics. This trait reflects our approach to work, planning, and decision making. 67% judging, 33% prospecting. Identity. This trait underpins all others, showing how confident we are in our abilities and decisions. Assertive, turbulent. I would like to think I'm a rather balanced individual. So... Look at the spectrums under each section. I mean, Child, who got time to read this shit? People with logistician personality type rarely hesitate to take responsibility for their actions and choices. Generally speaking, they are quick to own up to their own mistakes. Oh, rarely hesitate. Okay, I was going to say, admitting the truth even if it doesn't make them look good. Yeah. Honesty is far more important than showmanship. They'd rather satisfy their own conscience than lie to impress someone else. Child, if that ain't the truth was about to be a fit. I sure was. I sure was. Talk where it talks about job career path. Oh, okay. Let me see. Did I just click on it? Hmm. Logistician, log, logistician personality type revolve around institutions of respected tradition, authority, security, established consistency. Careers as military officers, lawyers, judges, police officers, detectives are all popular. Um, logist, logistician personality swoop in as accountants, auditors, data analysis, financial managers, business administrators, or even doctors. No, 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 Romantic, well, oh, hold on, strength and weaknesses? Honest and direct, that's definitely me. Strong-willed and dutiful, very responsible, calm and practical. I pride myself on that. Uh, create and enforce order. Jack of all trades. Weaknesses, stubborn. Really, bitch? Insensitive. While not intentionally harsh, logisticians often hurt more sensitive type feelings by the simple mantra that honesty is the best policy. Y'all too damn sensitive, man. Man the fuck up. Even if you're a woman. <laughs> Always by the book, judgmental. Opinions are opinions and facts are facts. Logisticians are unlikely to respect people who disagree with those facts, or especially those who remain willfully ignorant of them. You know what? This is definitely me. This this is this is definitely me to the T. I I 
I see no qualms with this. Often unreasonably blame themselves. Logisticians believe they are the only ones who can see projects through reliably as they load themselves with extra work and responsibilities, turning away good intentions and helpful ideas. Mm, romantic relationships. Ooh, should we click on this? Oh, Lord. Placenta hair girl is rubbing her hands together when she saw that insensitive part. Okay. Deeply committed. Blind dates and random hookups are not logisticians' preferred methods for finding potential partners. B wow! The risk and unpredictability of these situations has logisticians' alarm bells ringing and being dragged out for a night of dancing at the club just isn't going to happen! Uh, prefer more responsible, conservative methods of dating, such as a dinner with an interested co-worker or in their more adventurous moves, a setup organized through a mutual friend. Yeah. Uh, approach relationships with a rational perspective, looking for compatibility and a mutual satisfaction of daily and long-term needs. Uh, get caught up in the belief in their correctness and winning arguments they thought were about facts that they don't realize that their partner may have viewed things from a perspective of consideration and sensitivity. Especially with more sensitive partners, this can be a huge challenge for the relationship. Okay. Mm. I guess. What about friendships? I need to know this. Classy and sassy. <laughs> Um, logistician friends are not spontaneous. I'm definitely not. They're not talkative or particularly playful in their affection. Um, we are loyal, trustworthy, honorable, and dependable. Others may come and go with ups and downs of life, but stay by your friends' side no matter what with the deepness of commitment and other types may not even believe is possible. Yeah, I do. It takes a lot for you to get to that place with me, but once you get there, it's like you you there for life unless you do some fucked up ass shit to me. Then, I don't know. You, you're going to have a hard time just to get back in good graces with me. Um, okay, this was, this was cute. Um, so, I am I-S-T-J-A. I-S-T-J-A. Let me look at what that means. What does I-S-T-J mean? Introversion, sensing, thinking, judgment. Hmm. Okay. What the what what's the A stand for? Oh, yeah, let me see. Maybe I'm a type A personality. Thanks for not answering the question. Oh, wait, no, no. Mm -mm. Oh, assertive? Oh, okay, it stands for assertive versus turbulent. I don't think I'm that assertive. Y'all see? Okay, these are the percentages. Yeah. Mm. Okay, well, since it means you rely on experience over a hunch feelings, judging means you prefer structure over spontaneity. Yeah, that's, you are assertive. <laughs> I feel like y'all judging me now. So who are we compatible with? Like, how how do you know? So let me see. 
who is compatible with ISTJ-A. ISTJs are attracted to partners who appreciate their dependable nature. So who is an ISTJ most compatible with? ESFPs and ESTPs are the best matches romantically. Okay. Yeah, because they're. Mm, okay. Okay, I'm. I'm actually gonna like um sit with this. Cause I I never really took this personality test, but hey, it, it got some truth to it. Make Aaliyah do this. Maybe maybe I will. Maybe we'll find out why we butt heads so fucking much. All right, y'all, it is 12 o'clock. We gonna go ahead and call it a night. <laughs> so, y'all gonna have to forgive me because, first off, these totals ain't right. I update the channel members or the Patreon members on this page in like three weeks, four weeks, a whole fucking month. So if your name is not here or your name is here and it ain't supposed to be here, don't worry, it's gonna get it's gonna get fixed next week. Um, I think you're confusing assertive with aggressive. Maybe, maybe I am. <laughs> I I mean I don't know. I just know I'm tired. I'm 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 ready for bed. That's that's what I'm worried about right now. Okay, so again. Another reminder for uh, channel members and Patreon members, we're going to have a Sip and Paint coming up on May the 21st. That is on a Saturday. I will be posting information and links to the stream so you can register for that ahead of time sometime next week. Um, um, shout out and thanks to all Patreon and channel members as well as everyone who donated tonight with the Super Chat Cash App and PayPal with the tipping page. Um, damn, man. You know what? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm at a loss of words right now. You know, I, yeah, I think my brain is just shut off for the night. My brain is just shut off. Um, so, yes, thank you, everybody, for watching and tuning in for another week of... The African Hair God Show Watch Party is always fun spending time with y'all. And y'all open my eyes with this personality test. I'm going to do some more research on this shit. Maybe that's why I have a hard time dealing with people because I'm just too assertive, apparently, and too fucking judgmental and shit. Anyways, have a good night. We're going to go ahead and ride out with our ever so favorite single from T. Rada, The Curly Girl Struggle. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Be blessed. It's hard out here with her.
Pay for that.